And we still don't have multiple cameras right now. Not currently. Okay. But that's okay. Yeah. This, this one I'm just wondering. Columbus. Yeah, I want to learn how to handle more cameras. Let's do a pop up chat. Hey, thanks, White. Guys. Guys. And, uh, we're, we're we, doing it. Let's change that to live chat. Hey, pop chat. Uh, uh, your job. <laughs> Much. Gotcha. Is the reach result? Hello. Oh, so we have Ken's Arish, Cobwebs and Candlesticks. Larry Hughes, Blackcraft 27, Michelle Schulte, you made it, Blackcraft, that's right. Hello, Mike Cherzanowski, Ron Sheps, Billy G, James Kelly, John C, Mike Manning, Darren Reed, Ryan Demon, throw back a bottle of beer, <laughs> Rob O'Brien. Yes, I'm doing a Mothman tonight. I haven't done a Mothman in a while, and... Uh, I don't know, I think I've done like eight of these sculpts, I guess. But first I'm gonna make a display head. Oh, am I too close to the mic? Is that possible? I'm sure it's possible. Do we have your analytics for your mic here? Huh? That's an obvious. No, yes. no, I'm looking at the microphone. As okay. long as I'm not reading the mic, I'm good. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here's the earth. And trust me, if something is wrong with the stream, we'll they know. will tell you. <laughs> Sons well, of Wayne yeah. says hello, everyone. Hello, Sons of Wayne. Warmonger says hello. Michael Lasseter says hello. Is Sons of Wayne, is that a Batman reference? Um, like Bruce based Wayne? Based on the image there, I'd say probably, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be. Oh, there is a little Batman there. Yeah. And it looks like... Jennifer Pugh says hello. Robert what does it Pope say? Says it says excellent connection, but it's spinning. Am I live for you guys, or am I spinning? Hi, Ron Sheps. Hi, Ken Zarish. We like definitely Fox tell you. Yes. John C. says it must be cold. Uh, it's very cold in the shop tonight. Love I for am. Tink says hi, everyone. I am freezerated. Hello. Set as announcement. Yeah, so, yeah. Grab us some tape. Like a Thor says hi, Creepers. Poison Sumac says, hey, y'all, hope things are better for y'all today. I am. Were things bad for you before? I didn't know. All right, so I'm going to. <laughs> Mass Slasher says hello. Buffering. Now it's buffering. I got. Oh, no. What does it say now? Right YouTube there. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Okay, it says YouTube is not, uh, but. Okay, so it looks like we're back to live again. Yep. And what's funny is. It oh, says, it says no data. The stream will end shortly unless you restart it in your streaming software. Um, okay, so I guess hit restart down there. How in, in OBS? Yeah. So stop streaming, start recording. Mm, is there a restart? Doesn't seem to be. Well. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, do that, and then if we stop, we'll stop. Yeah, don't put it, leave it on that screen so I can see what's going on. Okay. That's the only way I can see what the camera sees. Okay. See, now, and right now we have some people say buffering and some say, yeah. So we were helping to start and now we've got issues. But it says excellent connection and then it's like, we were kidding. And I don't know what does that. And I don't know if I can, okay, they say it's normal. Some Someone says it's normal again. Thank you, Ron Chef. But not everybody says that. Hi, so. John C. Mike Trezanowski says hi, monkeys. And also, hi, there's, there's like a five minute window where they could be watching like any different point, you know, along yeah. that window. Sorry, guys, our internet is rough today. Our internet is country. I'm turning off my Wi Fi. Yeah, sometimes that helps to have other Wi-Fi's turned off. Like I can turn off mine on my phone too. Turn mine off. Ronnie Pope says it's good now. Warmonger says YouTube is ruining my good pleasure. Turn on airplane mode. Stream status poor. Tina Kusiak says we're good now. Al Copeland says it's fine here.
Blackrock 27 says it was buffering for a bit, but now it's back on. Larry Hughes is good on this end. But... I see monsters. <laughs> okay. Because it uh, looks, looks good now. Hooray. Does I see monsters a screen name? I see monsters. That's I a great screen that. name. I love it. It is a great screen name. Yeah. All right, we're back to excellent, so. Okay, well. I guess us <laughs> killing our Wi-Fi's, which in theory shouldn't change anything, fixed it. Thank you, Shannon. You're welcome. Thanks, Hello. wife. I feel good. Okay. No, we're, we're we're buffering again. Curses. Apparently, Shannon is the magic ingredient. <laughs> Ken's Reese says, "Sup, Stan? Sup, gang?" Line Cook Thor says, "Love the YouTube Wednesday." Sup, Ken? And Al Copeland says, "Notification," but I don't know if that's a good notification. Or bad well, notif like did you get since, a notification? Since we are not currently on the phone, you shouldn't mm -hmm. have to mess with your notifications. Um, oh, that's okay. I thought she was like, I didn't get a notification for this video. Hopefully it is notifying people, but Chef says, anyway. Cobb was puppies and casserole? Uh yes, that's what wife brings. Uh actually today it is um one of my favorite things that Shannon makes, it is, what, I, what, what is it called again? Buffalo chicken. Bu buffalo chicken dip, which I put on little breads. Delicious. <laughs> uh, so it is not, in fact, cookies. Um, Tina Kusiak says, I'm so excited to order our first links from you. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yes. Uh, Stan just poured one of those up earlier. Mm -hmm. The last one. Mine took courses high stand and Shannon. The other few says stand and wipe are there. Mine's still spinning. No, this Hashtag is. Uh, you should reset if yours is spinning. You should reset because that that will often fix it for folks. Hi, Jennifer. Pew pew. Pew pew. Pew pew. Warm on right on time. Shannon with the food. Yeah. Ron Shep says notification from YouTube went out this time. Yay. Great. I see monster says yes, screen name, aka Patty Vance on Creepers. Awesome. Awesome. Rob O'Brien says, oh yeah, YouTube Wednesday was delightful. Oh hooray. That's what I shoot for, is delightful. Oh, crunch. <laughs> what what? Oh my neck. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I am covering this in uh, tape so that I can um, foam it. Uh, this is gonna be my mold actually. Ken Zarish says that uh, very good, the dip. I see Monster says Shannon should make a cookbook and put it on your website. In her massive spare time. <laughs> That's what me and Shannon say to each other when we come up with ideas for uh, for ourselves or for each other to do. We can do that in our massive spare time. You may guess. We don't actually have any massive spare time. Or as even says, what is the painter's take for? I am going to make the roughest of <laughs> copies of this. And the tape is actually going to be my mold. Ron Sheps says that tree is cool. Uh, you know what? Um, I made my first one of those in 1997. And it was such a hit. I bet I've made 15 or 20 of them uh, <laughs> since then. For every haunt I was at that did something during the holidays. What they're really good for is promos. And that video on the end was from uh, 2014. Had a promo. Suddenly says Tape Man. Tape Man. It's like Batman, but with tape. Find the rhythm while you can. <laughs> Greg Watkins says, Tonight, instead of watching my drink Shannon's mold wine while he works, I got to drink Shannon's mold wine while he works. Yes, both things. Yeah. True. Mm hmm. Mm, I'll pull them. We were also delivered some mulled wine. Mm -hmm. yeah, we were. I'm letting mine cool down because I am a wuss mouth. <laughs> Chad Smith says, Good evening, creepers. Good evening, Chad Smith. <laughs> right, Demon says, Stacey should bring the food closer. Nah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good that I need to go and get it because if it sits over here, I'll just inhale it. <laughs> Catswift says, Alan, today's pretty good. You and you, you and Rue work really well together. Like an old married couple finishing your other stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, Rue is, Rue is, uh, he was on a similar haunt track to where I was. Um, 
as far as like what he does for haunts. So it's very easy in that sense. And I think we tackle a lot of things the same way. Uh, I think that Stan and I and Stacy and I also work very well together, um, but in a different way because we are dissimilar and that actually helps um, complete a project more completely because things that I would miss or glance over or say is okay, they're like, no, 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 we, we can't do that. <laughs> that will not allow me to do that. I must iron that seam. Well, okay. <laughs> if you have to, well, I guess. Listen, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be worth it. Black Rock 27, we hope everyone's day has been well. Can't wait to make stuff. Uh, Chad Smith says, I hate to have you repeat, but what you doing? Making a pattern? Oh, don't worry. I won't repeat for you. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm going to make a pattern. This is a mold that I'm going to make. Uh, I'm going to make a mold of this so that I can um, pour up a real quick foam head to build a bust on. Because the mask I have for Mothman is a half mask. So, uh, it... You know, it doesn't have the back of the head and all that stuff. And I'm going to actually cut this off, turn it, and move it way more forward because I don't want him to have a regular human head set up. Mike Terzanowski says, got my blanks. Thanks. So excited. That is awesome. Al Mantra Art says, hello, everybody. Hey, Al Mantra Art. I got your guys' Christmas card today. Thank you so much. You know, you know what's really cool? I also got a Christmas card from there. Awesome people. Um, <laughs> John sees the stand of some dip. Another, another thing that is really cool is that... What was I going to say? What were we talking about? Uh, Al Mantra Christmas no, before that, cards. Before, before that. that, blanks from Mike yeah, Giovanni? Yes, blanks. I'm noticing more mask makers selling blanks. Yay. Uh, which is good. Uh, I, I want that. Because, you know, a lot of the fun of making a mask sometimes is the painting and the hairing and finishing. And that's when you really feel like you bring, make it, bring it to life. Um, and, you know, not everyone wants to ruin their kitchen by making a mold. <laughs> Al Mantra Art says, hit that like button, everybody. Hey, thanks. Christine Zambotti says, wow, nice small group you have today. Uh, it's always quieter when Rue's not here. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a bad way. Just... <laughs> He is a little more, is gregarious the right word? Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, he's a little more gregarious and outgoing. Not that these guys are not outgoing, <laughs> they're just quieter about it. Oh. Sam's quieter. Very good. <laughs> Your face is gregarious. <laughs> Stephen Haynes says, sending Christmas joy to all. Hooray! Holiday. I gladly accept your Christmas joy. And I send out any holiday flavored joy that you would like. All the holiday flavored joy you'd like. I don't know if the microphone just heard my stomach growling, but <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. My goodness, good evening all. Good evening. Warmonger says, so you're saying Rue is the life of the party. Uh, Rue is a party, whether you want one there or not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Couple of the candlesticks says it's probably going to take the rest of the creepers a minute to catch on and find the screen. Uh, how many are there? Uh, uh, you know what? I, uh, that, you know, that's, that's actually kind of a high average for what this channel has been doing. And for us to have like 300 subscribers and 50 on a live stream, that's that's amazing. If you think about it, my other channel has 50,000 subscribers and we get uh, 150 on a live stream. So... Black Hick Doors says Merry Christmas to all the creepers. Merry Christmas indeed. Stuart Walker Mass says hello from Scotland. Hello, Scotland. Pat Swift says yes, we did. Oh, it did pick up my stomach growling? <laughs> Great. Chad Smith says, love the Christmas tree build. Not sure how I'm going to fit it into my home, but it's going to happen. 
Well, you know what? It doesn't have to be a Christmas tree. Uh, it doesn't have to be that triangular shape. You could easily make a bush the same way. And wouldn't it be fun to just build a 360 fake bush in your front yard that uh, you leave up there for a couple weeks before Halloween. And then Halloween, you get in it. <laughs> and then you chase people by a bush around your yard. Christine Salmani says, honestly, I love sculpting and painting, but I don't like repetitive painting. I'd rather sell blanks and crank them out. Dude, uh, you know, I, well, yes. I don't like repetitive either. Um, I much prefer to make one of something. Baba Doss says, um, yeah, that number did jump up quick because I had notifications on it and it didn't notify me initially. Uh, Michael Astor says, it's a thumbs up, folks. The Harry Beastie says, hello, Alan and Shannon. Shannon is not here right now. Uh, she popped in and out, but she'll be back probably at some point. Uh, we have Stacy and Stan this evening. Hello. Hashtag not wife. Uh, Riot Demon says, can you drop a quick live on your regular channel before the newest live and tell people to go to this channel? Maybe that would help. Uh, well, <laughs> the, post. The, yeah, the problem is I can't, I, I need to stop doing lives on my regular channel. Every time I do a live on my other channel, I lose like five to ten subscribers. Even if it was short to say go to another live. And uh, I, I don't want to bleed subscribers. Can you paint these teeth white for me? Yep. Love for Tink says, looks like you're making a mask for someone from the Blue Man group. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rob O'Brien says, shrubbery. <laughs> I like your throws bush. Stephen Haynes says, we used to tie fishing lines, brush lens, and grab people as they came by. Uh, one of, I had a guy whose whole job at my trail haunt was he was up on a roof and there were ropes tied to all the bushes and trees and when people were getting near a tree he would shake the the tree with his rope and then but that was on the other side of where the actor came out of so they'd look at the tree and then the actor would jump out behind them nice. they never figured it out the harry beasties says hello stacy and stan hello baba says oh my god all i want to do is randomly set up shop in someone's yard in the day in the daytime and wait for them to look out the window and notice like a yard with trees or just find one with like a rain camera and like be the bush but just scuttle across slowly <laughs> like when they're not home it's like how did a bush cross across my lawn you know uh, i like your sources i got the notification mike lassiter thank you for sharing our patreon link yeah really like ring cameras that's the best way to mess with people now ezekiel bradshaw says hey all hi ezekiel hello ezekiel mama now says oh my gosh alan <laughs> yeah Like messing with game cameras are a thing. Um, why why don't we mess with ring cameras more? You know, game cameras are gonna walk out in the woods and carry your bigfoot suit. <laughs> Nothing but problems. Chad Swiss says, "I think I've had enough of hydrocal. My latest mold had spider cracks again, and I used warm water and took my time." Told you, man. Uh, also, I, I I switched for that same reason, but warmer water. Um, and honestly, you might have to warm up your plaster because if the plaster is holding on to cold, then that's a problem. Gene Salvati says, so I missed it again. Are you patterning now? Yeah, I'm going to make a quick pattern out of this. I'm actually making a mold. Uh, this will be a mold. Gene says, we got like eight inches of snow so far in Pittsburgh and it's still snowing. Wow. Yikes. Yeah. Papa says, I forget about them, but everyone has one. Like the cameras are Okay. And I thickened it up at the bottom because I wanted it to be a little thicker there to kind of hold its shape. Uh, I'm going to do that one more time, too. One more time. Because we got supplies for the Christmas tree costume this morning. Are Some you kidding me? That's awesome. That's awesome, Ezekiel. That's great. Yeah, I figured that'd be one that some people make, you know. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it is such a fun gag. And now, look at Stan painting some teeth. While I look at some chicken. <laughs> Bob does say, Stan, you beat me to the punch. If they can't see Stan, make it so they can. Okay. Paint me a see. Werewolves got teeth. Yep, we got Stan. 
stands in frame. So uh, I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but we're painting these here too. <laughs> Michelle Schulte says, can't wait to do the tree. Christmas haunt, here we come. Ken Swift says, I can just see Ezekiel creating havoc in his neighborhood being the tree. <laughs> That's a, that's the whole name of the movie. Yeah. The tree. The tree. Havoc. The tree. Sorry. Ezekiel. Rylan Chow says, "Do you have any suggestions on how to sculpt bark slash wood?" Yes. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> get, a, get, a, get a cheap plastic comb and knock out some teeth and do your wood grain with that. And then hit it with baby powder. And then brush off the baby powder to erode it. And uh, that's pretty good. Or you can crumple up tin foil, press that into your clay. Pull up the tin foil and then do your uh, bark texture with a comb or whatever. That works. Ezekiel says, I'm going to do it at home for his Christmas tree. Okay. Rodney Pope says, hello, Stan and Stacy. Hello, Rodney. Ezekiel says, it's summer here, so our tree will squirt water, too. <laughs> Hooray! Baba Dawes says, I love that, Stan. You guys impressed me with your hair skills. So, Russ, huh? go ahead. No, no, full disclosure. I did like one part of the hair. <laughs> Alan did the other 90% of the hair. I don't know, 75, 25. Baba Daz says, I love that stand. Oh, no, I already said that. Uh, Ross Richards says, be funny to do the fake bush gag. Do one where a gnome pops out when they're looking scared uh, and scare them while distracted. Blind Creek Thor says, we can hear that. <laughs> oh, God. <What? laughs> yeah. The mic picks up everything. Then you heard me wash my hands. There you go. Uh, Rodney Pope says, did y'all mold Shannon's mask? Yes, molded it, did not pour it up yet. Did you power wash it yet? No. No, because it's been cold. It has to be over 45 degrees to turn the hot tub on. Uh-huh. Lisa Arndt says, good evening, loved YouTube Wednesday. Thank you. Rylan Chow says, is the duct tape for bulking up the mask? This is painter's tape, and it is, I'm making a mold with it. <laughs> Michael Astor says, wow, that microphone picks up everything, literally. Bob Boy says, right, water or something else. No, that was definitely him washing his hands, guys. <laughs> Jennifer Pugh says, I thought he pocket-lived again. <laughs> Ronald thing. Bryan says, smush some mulch into the sculpt? Question mark. No, that would give you a negative. Misty Zanerski says, Alan's tree reminded me of the singing Christmas tree in the Christmas village I used to go to when I was little. If we had more than two nights left of our North Pole tour, I'd make one for it. Victoria Sieber says, guess I really am late, or I guess I am really late. Hi, all. Hi. Scott Coiner says, hello, Alan and crew from Alabama Crew. Hello. You could dry that with a heat gun stand from a distance so you don't curl your hair. Right. Ezekiel says, we're going to open our home haunt for Christmas two nights, give out candy canes, introduce a few folks to Krampus, and inbred Santa. I love that. Rylan Chow says, when foam filling a mask to make a master, do you treat the master, the foam filled latex mask, like the clay sculpture? Do I put the plaster directly onto latex? Yep. Yep, just treat it like it's a, uh... yeah, treat it like it's a sculpt. It, it is the sculpt. Jennifer Pugh says, did I see an Anubis in the background of the last video? Maybe. Yeah, you did. Uh, that'll be coming up here in the future. Michael Astor says, be back in a bit. Thanks, Michael Astor. See you in a bit. And again, I just want the roughest form of a head uh, because what I'm doing isn't human. So 
I'm only human of flesh and blood. Oh, oh, oh. Who was that? Was that like Thompson Twins? Who did that? Okay. You don't know. You're too young. I'm too young. Ken's is from the Goonies. Hey, sounds like my grandfather taking a leak while he's washing his hands. Wow. Chad Smith says I'd be a repeat. He, hold on. Your grandpa should get checked out. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't pass go. He should go to a urologist. I'm just saying. Yeah. Not saying anything. Because the sink is on sprinkle mode, so. Uh, yeah. Ryland Chow asks, how does the tape work as a mold? Uh, I'll. You got five minutes? I'm going to show you. 20 minutes? I'm going to show you. You bots this. You bots to learn. As Angel says, sorry if you've been asked a thousand times, what new mic did you get? This is a blue Yeti. Ms. Arndt says, Human League. Human League. That's right. <laughs> Casper says, drink. Yeah, what I'm making is not human. I don't have a, I don't have a song for that. For not being human. Not human. I do, but it's not appropriate. <laughs> thank, thank you. Hmm? Got, got a little something something. <laughs> a little something for later. Yeah, it has this is alley of something in your beard on the left side of your mouth. <laughs> it's a shame too, that stuff's delicious. I know. <laughs> Thank you Scott Colharsh for linking the uh, Blue Yeti mic. That is exactly when I trim my beard because uh, I hate having food in my beard. Greg Watkins says, is Frank in the background poseable? Um, not without possibly breaking it. It has a metal structure inside, so you can bend it like once or twice, but eventually that'll get metal fatigue and die. <laughs> Ezekiel says, it's a bit of Ron for later on. Chad Smith, you could have just told me you were saving it for later. <laughs> no, that's gross. That's your soup catcher. I don't even like soup. Let alone beard soup. Beard soup? <laughs> oh, no beard soup. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that good? It's really good. Okay. Christine Salvati says, Alan, I'd like to make more giant monsters for our haunt. I do a wood frame with corpse chicken wire bodies. Depot is thirty dollars a roll for chicken wire. Is there a cheaper source or a cheaper substitute? A chicken wire is about as cheap as it gets. Um, it's not a very it's not a very expensive thing, um, considering how much of it you get. So I would probably say no. But what you might do is try to find an industrial cast off that would work the same way that you could get for free. There is a paper plant near me, and I can get free industrial felt from them, which uh, smells a little weird, but it's strong enough to make like walls and stuff out of. Jennifer Pugh says, mmm, beard soup, Mark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ezekiel says, must resist. Kids are watching. Thanks, Ezekiel. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, like, well, honestly, probably Home Depot is. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because one of the things that Home Depot does really well is they will go to a company, like, let's just say a company that makes blinds, mm -hmm. and they will s tell this company, we'd like to sell your product, can you give us a decent rate, we'll buy a lot. And then... Uh, the company's like, oh, okay, we can, we, we'll do this. And then Home Depot will go again and say, if we double the amount that we're buying, 
will you reduce the price a little bit? So then what happens is that company can only produce enough just to sell to Home Depot. And then Home Depot says, like after a year, well, we're only gonna buy it for this price. So they have to drop down even more, uh, you know what I mean, to... Uh... Baba Daz says, I was in the next room. Did I hear you said Yeti? No, no. Yeti. Oh, yeah, the mic is a Yeti, yes. You did say Yeti, but not that. Yes, I'm not making a Yeti. I'm speaking on a Yeti. Christine Salvati says, I'm sorry, did you say industrial felt, Adam? Yeah, for um, conveyor belts. Yep. One of the things that I want to do at some point in time is have someone come with me who is willing to film my dumpster route. <laughs> and on Sunday, you hit the industrial places because no one is there. They're all closed. That, that should be a you and Tony day because the oh, man yeah. has a, his own dumpster route. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and all the industrial parks I go to and look, you know, let's see what they've got in their garbage right now. So many Chad Smith says, everyone have their Christmas shopping done? I'm a man, so my answer is no. Um, I don't think I'm done, and I'm worried that two things I got for Shannon will not get here in time. What happened? Do you have the last thing? Post office, one thing. Uh, the post, it, it, with those got here in like February. Yeah, like the um, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, the post office is not batting a thousand right now. Uh, I apparently. <laughs> Ezekiel says it's not even started, Chad. Useless. The upside of being a married man is I only have to buy gifts for one person. That's my wife. Fair. And then she handles everything, everything else. else. Thanks. I hate it. <laughs> Baba Daza says gotcha in terms of the Yeti. Um, 1980 says so live chat isn't available through Google. You have to, you have to use the YouTube app. Uh. You, I have to use a, a, a streaming service. I have to use a streaming service. Warmonger says, I'm a dumpster diver. Ryland Channel says, dumpster diving can be very beneficial. Chad Smith says, says, I do a lot of shopping at Kirby's. <laughs> well, and... Chad Smith is free from the curb. Yeah, uh, residential garbage is one thing, but uh, the industrial waste is very exciting. Because it's, if it's something that they're going to throw away all the time, and you, like this this one place that I go, he, I can get four inches or five inches thick, two foot by four foot pieces of upholstery foam. And I can get those, I can get 30 of those a week. Because that's the thing that's shipped to him, and he has to throw it out to get rid of it, comes in that. Then he puts it together, and he packs it differently, you know, Babadaz says, it's not fair. You live around all the awesome places to dumpster dive from. Well, I mean, you probably do too. It, it all depends on what you're looking for. And I know of some people who, they dumpster dive in their town, and then they go and trade someone else who dumpster dives in their town because they have stuff that they want, and they have stuff that they want. But industry is pretty bad about throwing things away and they don't actually want to so a lot of time you know if you do find yourself I've been to this dumpster three times and they had this here that's when you talk to the plant manager and say hey is this waste that you throw away I can keep it out of your dumpster because they pay to empty their dumpster mm -hmm. that's not the Christmas office, no but it's like um, the shopping cart principle if you go there and you pull everything out of the dumpster and you only take what you want, don't put it back, you know, then then you're going to come back and there'll be a, a padlock on that dumpster. And that is, that's not good for anybody. Ezekiel says, we have a store called Reverse Garbage. All industrial places dump their extras, etc. there, and you can buy the stuff from them. Very cheap. All money goes to charity. It's an awesome warehouse. That sounds like an amazing idea. Um, my friend Vanessa, um, runs a kind of a similar thing, but it's for teachers and stuff, and they collect junk from all over the place in Fort Worth, and they have a big warehouse full of all these supplies, and office supplies, and art supplies, and just, mm. you know, random dumpster dive-ish stuff that teachers can come in and shop for free, or like for super deep discounted prices yeah. or whatever, and they can make stuff from that. 
Well, and just like when when you get a you know a spool of something, is there a plastic insert? What does that plastic insert look like? What can I use that for? You know, um, when I make apocalypse helmets, I get a lot of that stuff from uh, print shops and sign shops because they have you know those little bits that I need. Cat Swift says I have a couple shops that I spoke with about their trash. Now they'll call me when they have large amounts of things I want. Yeah. Baba Nasa says, yeah, that's super red about the upholstery phone. Ross Richard says, new shirt idea, Alan Hops, trash panda. <laughs> I want to be a trash grizzly. Uh, I will. That's a better bear. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Paul Bennett says hi. Hello, Paul Bennett. Cat okay. Swift says, I haven't bought packing material bubble wrap in years. I have several places downtown that call me when they get deliveries. Yeah, isn't that nice? Chad Smith says, so is this going to be a bus to Mothman? Yes. Ezekiel says, they keep asking me to do Halloween classes there. It's a cool place, so I'm not ready to teach just yet. Isn't that cool? And I'm just going to phone that up. Yo. Warmonger says, they keep, uh, I've been told by police not to dumpster dive. I'm 47 and running from the cops isn't as easy as it was when I was a teen. Well, I mean, that's why I do it on a Sunday when no one's at that place. And B, um, if there's a lock in the dumpster, you respect it. Yeah, don't, don't cut lots of locks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you might even see through parts of it. Nah. Misty Jazerski says, in college, they decided to throw away copper gutters. Hobby, Hubby and I took all of it out of the dumpster and recycled it so we had money to buy Christmas gifts. Heck yeah. Baba Daza says, that's very cool. Yeah, we, we had a, a similar deal with the uh, a place that did, like, playhouse structures, like tree houses and mm -hmm. all those wooden stuff. And all the extra pieces they ended up with. They yeah, when they dumpster. put together a kit. Yeah. yeah, and so Tony was sat scavenging that for our uh, tiny home stuff. And finally she went and talked to him, like, hey, look, like, let me take this stuff off your hand for you. Driving out of there with van loads full of stuff. 1980 says, local towns require a permit to dive, usually like 10 bucks. That's cool. If you go in a dumpster on a, someone else's property, if you check the law, because normally once you throw something in a refuse container, yeah. you're legally letting go of it. You have relinquished it. You have relinquished it, yeah. Mike Chisinowski says, will latex freeze? I ordered it. They said three days. It's been nine days now. I have a blizzard happening. It will absolutely freeze and be ruined. So, yes. If you order it from Monster Maker, their website right now says, if you've ordered latex from us, there's a delay. Yeah, yeah we, can't, we can't ship it until. Right. Ezekiel says, does the tape stick to the spray foam? Um... I baby powdered it. I put baby powder in there and kind of shook it around. So if you look, it's baby powdered. And uh, now it shouldn't, but it will, yes. Because spray foam is sticky and tape is sticky. <laughs> As it turns out. Yeah, that's its job. Chantma says, what did Shannon make for y'all tonight? Oh. Yummy. Stacy, explain. <laughs> what Shannon made for us tonight you use that? No, is uh, yeah. bar yeah. uh, not barbecue, um, buffalo chicken dip with a large variety of uh, vessels to convey it to your mouth. Um, I'm enjoying it on the uh, celery, but we're going to give the pita a go here. And uh, I think it's pretty good. Hopefully you can see that. Because I can't see. We're having a little bit of a lag on the... Connection over here. Paul Bennett says, cool. That all tape? Yes. Paul mm -hmm. Bennett. <laughs> Paul Bennett says, Stacy, you're making me hungry. The Harry Beastie says, there's a couple of holes on the top. Yeah, it's fine. It'll be fine. He says, my work has freeze protect, freeze protect protocols. No shipping of items when it's below freezing. Chapter says, oh yeah, I love that stuff. You know, for says, mmm, buffalo chicken dip. You are correct, Jennifer Pew. It is, it's very yum. <laughs> That's for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Right, Demon says, I have a bowl of berries. Snow buffalo chicken dip. <laughs> yeah, I would say you're right. Don't be sad, I'll be sad for you. Just letting that first round puff a bit. Um, I'm actually going to get a bag in there and spread it around. Nice. Black Pack 27 says, that food looks wonderful. Because it is. <laughs> bag. Because I'm signed in as Still Beast on Patreon, so I don't get notifications <laughs> when you post stuff. Is the thing you posted it? Yeah. Chad Smith says, couldn't agree more. So now I'm just using this to uh, spread the foam around the inside of the head. Yeah, scary, isn't it? Stress me out. We're living on the edge. <laughs> enough praise and coaching through fear. I hate that crap. They need the positivity to push them to keep working hard. Yeah. That makes as, sense. As a highly praised motivated creature, I agree. <laughs> uh, and I'll say that I'm, I'm really not a praise motivated creature. Um, I won't ever stop to define what motivates me. Yeah. Because it's never like been an issue where I had to like... Yeah. I gotta find more of that, you know. Whatever it is, I've I'm, I, I've lucked into a good supply. Well, and, and as a highly praise motivated creature, you have to look for for what praise actually is. You know. Yes. It isn't always going to be head pat. Good job. Like sometimes it looks like other things. A lot of times, praise for me is oh that works. Yep. <laughs> Because I didn't have to redo it. I didn't there, have to fix it. There's no correction? Yes. Yeah. I, I'm eating that as praise. Thanks. Ezekiel says, where is the Blue Yeti placed? It's right It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> is it? Am I, I'm probably a little hot. I could turn it down. Cat Swift says, even a menial task if done well should be acknowledged. Christine Salvati says, we have extra space for holiday cal calories with our fruit. <laughs> Dirty Santa says, good evening all, I found you. Hey, Dirty Santa. Good to see you on, sir. Ed's and Juice says, good evening. What's going on tonight, kids? I'm making a body out of tape. Well, a, a head head and stuff. Um, Ed's and Juice also says, great treat today, Alan. Hey, thanks, homie. Line Cook Thor, 71 creepers. Ron Shep says you sound fine. 71. Riot Demon says, Alan, you sound fine, and I can hear Stacy great. Hooray. Ezekiel says, no, no issue with the placement or volume. I'm just a curious cat. Okay. So, while I'm waiting on this to set up, Alexa, count down five minutes. Ryland Chow says, are you, starting now. are you using the expanding foam to foam fill the negative mold? Yes. Yes, I am. 
Chad Smith says, did you sell the tree yet? Yep. I'm going to drive it tomorrow to Oklahoma City. Cat Swift says, but that is still praise. You're acknowledging their effort. doesn't have to be sugary and overdone. Well, good. Because <laughs> it's not going to be. Good. Yeah, that's not how Locked I Knocked that one out. That doesn't suck. Yeah. <laughs> I say that a lot. You do that say that a lot. That sucks less than last time you did it. Yeah, that <laughs> sucks less than last time you did it. Yeah, that's completely appropriate in the, in the realms of praise. Uh, so I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought a dome thing. But I think it's in my car and I think that you'll need to tell a story or something while I go get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Who was that aimed at? <laughs> uh, doesn't matter. Y'all just jump on that grenade. All right. Um. What story should we tell? Oh, you know what? I know. I know. So you got a story. I got a thing. You use the camera too. I will. Oh, oh, I will. So, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys. Don't threaten me, Jack. Uh, a book that I brought um, that we may be using in future holiday related things, but this is Tales from the Enchanted World by Amabel Williams Ellis. If you can say that I meant. But uh, it is a collection of fairy tales and folklore from around the world and it's got a lot of kind of unique um, origins of fairy tales and, and folklore stuff in it. I brought it out for us to use in potentially future projects so secrets but if you are interested I think it's out of print I had to buy a used copy um, from Amazon because I grew up with this book it is very cool um, and has a lot of really neat um, like, like the original Lick Cinderella story that is much more involved pre um, Brothers Grimm, um, some Anansi the Spider stories. Uh, Baba Yaga is in here, um, which I feel like says a lot about my childhood. That Baba Yaga was one of my childhood like storybook characters. Um, yeah. So that's uh, potentially for some storytelling stuff. Crimacy. Maybe later. And now he's back. Yep. I'm back. You're back. I'm back. Yes, I got the right size ball sphere. So if, when the whole Patreon thing works out, um, one of the things that I want to do is be able to get a. Uh, it's like a 3D printer in order to print eyeballs and teeth and that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> 1980 says, did you post a vid on the old live channel? On the what? We well, posted YouTube Wednesday and a, and a message about switching over to this live channel. Yes. Okay, I don't have an old live channel. Mm -hmm. I only have the new live channel and the Still Be Studios channel. Is that the one you mean? <laughs> Cat Swift says the horn, or was this in the car? This oh, the this was in my car, not the van. And I'm not going to hold the door open because it is four degrees outside. <laughs> <laughs> Ross Richard says Chad should hide in the tree and scare Alan when he comes in. I think he means Stan. Stan, yeah. Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, Ross. I didn't see your uh, caveat to not read that. <laughs> Baba Dallas says, Stacey, I hope you get to see that. Probably will. Chad Smith says, that would have been a flying trip from Illinois. 1980 says, is that a wrestling buddy on the wall? Oh. Tell the Yeti is dancing. Let the Yeti is dancing. <laughs> I have no idea what's on camera right now. I know. So Sorry. there's a lag with this that doesn't happen normally. So this is a pillow of Beast Man. My favorite. So, yes. 
There we go. Uh, it probably is pixeling a little bit for you. Alexa, stop. What was that timer for? Oh, that was me, my phone. Yeah. That's one for my phobies. One for me, one for my phobies. Oh, that's, that's still very moist. Probably the cold weather is affecting it. You know what? It's much drier in the winter, generally. So, uh, it's not it's doing as fast. I did. I, I started it with water. Uh -huh. But, it's going to... Oh, says, oh, that's so cute. It is cute. I concur. Nineteen eighty says, "Where did you get that?" Now I want one. Uh, well, I'll have to send you a link. <laughs> it is. It's a company called the Brothers Gador, G A D O R, and they have lots of characters that they do. Gregory Haynes says, "Hey, folks, I don't know what a Mothman is." That's a man. That's also a a moth. A moth. It was a moth man. Ezekiel says, you need to borrow, insert politician name here, Sunbed, to turn you orange so you can be the real beast man. So, um, the Mothman is a cryptid that was seen quite a bit. Don't read anything political, by the way. I, um, I redacted. We all knew. Don't read anything political, please. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the Mothman is a... West Virginia thing where there's a bridge that collapsed and Mothman was seen for a long time like up until the bridge collapse and they people some people think that he was a harbinger letting people know something bad was about to happen and lots of folks lost their lives the River what's the bridge, difference right? between even like the Jersey Devil well in that I mean uh, don't say moth but I mean like <laughs> the lore um, well the Jer Jersey Devil is like the son of a witch okay. and um it was a, it was this woman had 12 children and when she was pregnant she said something like um i don't want any more children let this 13th child be a devil and uh popped out a devil and uh pretty much is a jerk in new jersey ever since <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Right. And the, the Mothman, they don't know where it came from. Some say extraterrestrial. Yeah. Got left behind. Okay. Right. There's a movie called The Mothman Prophecy or Prophecies. Richard and Gere. with Richard Gere. Yeah. Blackcraft27 says Beastman kind of reminds me of Randy Savage from WWE or WWF. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is what Sons of Wayne just said, so I'm going to let that stand. Oh, yeah. Jennifer Pugh says Mothman had a prophecy. <laughs> Ryland Chow says, what you eat? It looks good. Uh, that is chicken with hot chicken wings. Buffalo. buffalo wing chicken dip is what it is. But it's actually buffalo chicken dip because no wings were harmed. <laughs> the chickens are toast, but their wings are fine, apparently. And I need to get a little more slack on this mic cord because that's just on the corner enough for me to trip over. Yeah. Eventually, I'll run this from the ceiling. Because I don't think it cares if it's upside down. Yeah. I think Cat Swift says, Stan, one's in New Jersey and the other isn't. Couldn't help it. <laughs> well, one's you know. in West Virginia and one's in New Jersey. And uh, the one is uh, Mothman is 70s and the uh, Jersey Devil started in the late 1800s. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Anonymous Bat says that. Because was one person says it and it goes out loud and other people comment spiral. on it. Spiral. Yeah, exactly. Don't feed the spiral. Listen, let's focus on Anonymous Bat. Who is showing us? Uh, uh. Let's, I said, let's focus on Anonymous Bat. Who is yes. showing us? That's a great name. Anonymous Fat? Anonymous Bat. Oh, Anonymous Bat. Hello, Anonymous Bat. Like Rick Thor says, good book too, Mothman. I haven't. I didn't know it was a book. I had no idea. 
I'm gonna grab some EVA foam so that I can cut some uh, backers. I know when I was a kid in the library there was a really short book about urban legends yes. and monsters, and I remember I don't remember you know what I remember the book. One of the stories was the Jersey Devil, one of them was Mothman, one of them was Bigfoot, mm -hmm. Squatch. The Squatch, gone squatching. And uh, the Yetis. And the, what else? Blackcraft 27 says, the mic sounds great. I have you all on the big screen and can hear way better. Scott Creighton says, hello everyone. Just checking in for a quick hello. Hope all is well. Doing pretty good. So what we're doing here, we're putting some air on the werewolf. And before, we're kind of going underneath. This is what we use. And it's going to be painted later and teased out. So um, you can see this sort of band on it that holds it all together. And what we're doing now is we put one level of it, but I've cut the band off so we can hand lay this part down and it does a breakup. So you don't see a really hard line running down the face. Abadassa says, can someone remind me what the two phrases that YouTube says? What doing? There's a guy, who, guy who's named YouTube, and he pops on, and he says, "What doing?" Ah. And then, um, yeah, he says something else, but I forget what that is. Bob Dallas says, "Hey Scott, say say I love you, you're dead." <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ezekiel, I know what it is, Ezekiel. You just want to get me in trouble. I see how it goes. <laughs> Troublemaker. <laughs> Troublemaker. Like if there's all looking up to put it on the creepers page. Larry Hughes says, Alan, how long does it take for the silicone to usually take to dry? Uh, it usually seems like what I'm doing, what I used is not drying. Uh, the silicone two, it'll be pretty firm in about an hour. These guys are gonna go in here. But I need to uh, put a backer on them so I can insert LEDs. Baba Dallas says, what doing? That's so funny. Yeah, and that, he, he pops on and says, what doing? We just tried to click the end of the Sharpie to get the point to come out. <laughs> well, they, but they do make those. This is not one of them. I want to see if he came out with those when I was in college. Because there was much hanging out in the smoking area, like giving each other Sharpie injections. <laughs> I never went what to did college. You do? <laughs> Hung out with weirdos. What were you doing? I never went to college, but I did have a roommate who um, ate, actually ingested like 14 highlighters to see if he could make his urine UV. And it turns out, Kidneys work really well. Yeah. And did not let that become a thing. Did he have to get them removed? No. Did no, he, he digest highlighters? Far, far as we know. Oh, good God. He only ate the filter part. He didn't oh. eat like he didn't eat the plastic. I was like, like damn. That's, that's, that's not crazy. Good I'm yeah. super yeah. impressed. Yeah, don't like, be silly. You know, horrifying. Not silly. Like, like, <laughs> um, Larry Hughes says, so it's been at least a couple hours. It's not curing. Can it be bad? Uh, if it's old, yes. Oh, but, good God. but also, <laughs> it's it's pretty dry. Mist it with some water, and it'll probably uh, help it cure. Water helps silicone caulking cure up. Right, Demon says, I love clicky sharpies until I sit down with one of my apron and I manage to draw all over my leg. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, yeah, the yeah. struggle is real. It's a real thing. I mean, that's still kind of impressive, swallowing the whole, like, filter. No, he chewed. He chewed. Oh. He chewed. Yeah. I mean... And he thought water would dilute it, so he drank milk with it. Because it's like a like it's like a cotton wad, almost. So, like, what was your it's position in all of this while it was happening? Like, yeah, man, knock yourself out. Or, like, maybe, maybe it'll work. Like, I had gotten a free box of them. He was like, hey, man, I'm going to eat these. And I'm not a highlighter guy. Free. I am a, just remember what you got to remember. Yeah. You know, that, yeah. that's how my brain works. It's like, yeah. just, just remember the whole thing. Don't, yeah. 
Yeah. There's, no, there's no highlights. Did his did his teeth glow? Oh yeah, he looked gross. Yeah. Yes. Did you know that you could probably just pee through one of those filters and his pee would glow? <laughs> you know what? And I wasn't even there for like the event, of oh, course. God. You know, I don't, I'm not. I want to watch someone urinate. <laughs> Ken Zari says, "Alan, is that a music studio mic?" Um, this is a Yeti Blue mic. It's like a podcasting. Mic? It's 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 a it's a podcasting mic. Yes, it's one of the best USB mics out there as far as not going through a mixer and whatnot. Lanka Thoris has just posted it. John Keel is the one who wrote the book. Okay, the cool. Rob O'Brien says barf. Bob Dowd says okay. He was in his early twenties. Wonder what he's doing now. Uh, every now and then he pops on the live stream. <laughs> nice. Well, now you have to tell us. Oh, it's Highlighter guy. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't have to. Um, Larry Hughes says, "Well, I hope it's not bad. I heard the Wendigo mask. That would suck." Yeah, um, it, it's pretty rare for that to happen. I have had it happen one time to me, but uh, and that has been on. But that was old material. It was old, and uh, that is why it didn't cure. I'm pretty certain. Um, but only one time. Hmm. Rob O'Brien says eating dumpster highlighters. Is it the one upstairs that's still not dry? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Demon says, wow, the stupidity to eat a bunch of highlighters. Rachel Little says, evening, y'all. I'm lurking tonight. Uh, it's been a long day, so I'm not chatty, but I'm listening and watching. My, my question now is like, he had a reason why he was doing it, but what was what did he hope to gain from it, like what was the was it sheer curiosity? what was the net positive was outcome? It fame? <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like this might have been before YouTube, and it was you know before instant fame for being ridiculous. He was gonna go on like Letterman. <laughs> Tonight it's highlighter guy. <laughs> Do his stupid human trick. <laughs> was that that was Letterman? Stupid right? human tricks. Yeah. yeah. Was it or was that Leno or Letterman? Oh. Letterman. See, Dave, I'm only just hanging on how out of here. <laughs> yeah, 20 minutes later. Jennifer Pugh says, I'm going to watch the replay tomorrow. I'm sleepy. Good night, everyone. Pew, pew, pew. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. Oh, I started listening to a new podcast, speaking of the... Mm -hmm. um, it's the Magnus Archives. And it's... I, you might actually like this one. Um, Monster Hunter type? It's, it's like documenting... Um, cryptids in like the London area, hmm. but it's it's presented as here is this guy who is now the new archivist of the the Magnus archives, which are all of these chronicles of spooky happenings, and uh, and the place is a mess. And so he's having to go through and and organize this whole like thrashed archive room full of testimony first hand first hand testimonials of people's encounters with monsters and stuff. Yeah. And, and transcribe them, and he can't do it digitally um, because every time he tries, it's, it, it's just like static the whole mm -hmm. time. So he's doing it on a tape recorder. <laughs> okay. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. And it, some of them are truly a little, a little hair raising. It's been fun. Okay, so we are firming up. That's good. Ken Zarich says he probably did it as a YOLO thing. <laughs> Baba Daz says, okay, but you realize that idiots nowadays like eat Tide Pods and lick all the canned goods at Walmart. Mm -hmm. Listen, stupid is not modern. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. It's been around a long time. Some social Darwinism happening. Yeah. Stupid's not new. <laughs> all right, so uh, I feel good about continuing on this. So I'm going to go ahead and give a little spritz and allow this to... Uh, Make of the resta. I don't know that we ate stupid stuff in our pre YouTube. We did. Stupid stuff. I mean, we were dissolving packing peanuts in. I had a friend who every gasoline, time we like, went to. Like, um, Golden Corral, he was good to drink a bottle of hot sauce for 20 bucks. <laughs> and like, it, it didn't like turn him off of doing it next time. Yeah. He hated it. He rolled around on the floor. It made terrible noises. Nice Nadies has watched old clips of Tom Savini on Letterman. You can see how he goes from everyday Joe to a celebrity effects artist. 
Rob O'Brien says, that's a great saying, stupid is not modern. Chad Smith says, only one cure for stupidity. Sadly, it's very right. Blackraft27 says, what's the baby powder for on your work table? Uh, that, I powdered the inside so the foam would come away from the tape. That's my hope. <laughs> now we're going to wet it down, so. Well, the baby powder holds the moisture. Yeah, fair. But yes, less effective as a resistant when it's wet. John C. says you only illuminate once. That was, that was pretty funny, John C. That was his good one for the night. <laughs> Oh, hello, Cheney. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Riot Demon says twenty dollars, way too cheap. Back then, man, think about inflation. Like twenty bucks. Back then, that was a lot. Twenty dollars is twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. That was three action figures. Now you can't get or one a, for twenty bucks. Or a Star guys. Wars art book. <laughs> okay, that can is dead. Murdered. <laughs> it, it, it reached the end of its natural lifespan. And the foam is cold, so it's not doing its chemical reaction nearly as fast because the foam is over there in the window. In the window, yeah, we probably ought to find a better spot for that. It's from the window. From the window. By the wall. By the wall. And I just used um, gaps and cracks, and now I'm using window and door. Uh, there should not be a chemical reaction and explosion. Line Creek Thor says I did fish sauce for $20 in the kitchen. Ooh. That's not a good noise. Oh, oh no, Ezekiel. I've seen drunk blokes drink ashtrays for free. Yeah, but did you trick them? <laughs> or was that a choice? Nice says wave two of MOU should be out soon. Yes. Uh, a lot of people like have some of them. I don't know where they got them or how they got them, but they've got them. So they're out in some places. Scott uh, Walmart says 81 creepers on. I'm checking Walmarts every now and then. I'm not, not religiously like I was to get Beast Man because... Uh, trap jaw is cool, and um, triclops is cool, but they're not beast man cool. <laughs> Chad Smith, till sweat run down. Never mind. <laughs> Larry Hughes says, "I'm going to wait until tomorrow. If it doesn't cure, I'll hope to clean the silicone off what's good to use and not harm the paint." I'm sure that's possible. So we've got this lag on the video stream. Yes. So I'm watching you spray into foam, but I'm hearing you spritz in water. It was a really weird, like, <laughs> cognitive dissonance moment where I was like, why is it making that noise? That's so weird. Yeah, his, his water is broken. <laughs> his foam is broke. 1980 says, trying to find more Uno cards. Context? Or were there Uno? Was there Masters of the Universe Uno? I did oh, not, my gosh. I did not know they did that. Oh. There was, like... There's all sorts of weird stuff when it was really popular back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. John C says, you want to be on the list of stupid human tricks for glowing pee? You're in. Catswift <laughs> uh, says, Alan, why are you making this bust? How is it different from the busts you have now? Uh, because I can give this one away. I can sell this one to someone. Whereas uh, I want all the ones that I have now. Chad this, is, this will be part of the mask. I'm making a finished bust for them. Oh, wait, I skipped Ezekiel. Ezekiel says, keyboard player in an old band was blind. He used to drink ashtrays by accident all the time. We never stopped him. Oh, that's or, cr cruel and unusual. Person. Chad Smith you says, might be a horrible person, Ezekiel. <laughs> Chad Smith says, what are the top ten gifts for the Monster Maker? Top ten gifts? Yeah. 
Oh. Well, we made a gift guide for expressing this purpose. <laughs> well, now, for a monster maker. For a monster maker. Yeah. They're not asking. For, they're not asking what they should buy me. He says for the monster maker. Okay. Good. Is that yeah. for you or is that for anybody? No. Um, yeah. Uh, so for anyone. Um, a nice Dremel is a really good idea. And when I say Dremel, I use Dremel like I use the word Kleenex. I don't mean Kleenex brand Kleenex. I just mean something you can blow your nose on. When I say Dremel, I mean a rotary tool. And they have good ones on Amazon. And the one at Harbor Freight is good for a good six months. Have you seen the one they sell in Home Depot now? That It's like... Sort of like the dental one, but it's a much cheaper version. It's already got the line on it. You can adjust the yeah. speed, and I want to try one of those back. Yeah. Would you get me power in this, please? Rob O'Brien says, I thought P was already UV, UV reacting. Okay, so Dremel, that's one. Yeah, so a Dremel is very good. It depends on how much they like you, too. I mean, because that, that changes some things. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and where they're going to be comfortable. Monetarily. Um... <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that, that Dremel is nice, of course. A heat gun is always a good idea. Yeah, nice heat And you know what? I got one year as a it's gift. Working. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got one year as a gift from someone a, like, restaurant-sized industrial roll of aluminum foil. Nice. And I was thrilled. Yeah? I made so much crap with that aluminum foil. It's not even funny. I got a saran wrap one of those one year. Yeah? Yeah. Those are great. Like as a gift, like a big thing of saran wrap? Yeah, like the industrial restaurant. Yeah, that's it's like awesome. This, it's like this yes. thick, weighs 10 pounds. It's awesome. John C., that'll cost you double. Ross Richard says, I have the Wen rotary tool with the flex shaft. Yeah. Yep. How's that work? Is it good? Ken Zarish says, Alan, is that an Egyptian dog to your left with tall ears? You see nothing. <laughs> yes, yes it is. It's, it's an Anubis. Bob Dallas says, I wish the gifts I were getting for were for monster makers or any makers. Um, and so, so th those things are good, uh, but also like materials. Materials are a really good idea. Or gift cards um, for materials. Yeah, or gift cards for material. But yeah. give them a gallon kit of Bondo. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times we get stuck in a rut of I'm going to use like I use the things I'm used to using. I do purposely buy new stuff to play with and mess with, but I use what I'm used to using. Um, so someone who maybe hasn't been able to make as much stuff as me um, might not be able to, you know, I don't know. But, you know, get them, get them a material that is intriguing, but maybe they would not buy it for themselves. Bob Adels says, awesome gift. Ross Richard says, it's good, Stan. Uh, the Wen Rotary Tool, the Flex Shaft. Cool. Ken Zarish says, very nice. I'm gonna sneak behind you, grab a jacket. Sing in the words tonight. Stan. Sir. In the other room. Yes. There's a giant pile of stuff that should not be in front of the circuit breaker, the breaker box. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lean over to get to the breaker box, and there is one that is tripped. It's a dual pole. The, the, Turn yeah. it towards you for off, and then flip it back over for on. That'll kick on the big heater. Yep. It is a 220 volt switch, and uh, yeah, it trips. Orange Thor says 18 inches, the big roll for restaurants. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Cat Swift says my cats, have, my kids have done that in the past in a, a big box full of generic stuff. All the things I use all the time to build stuff. Yeah. Uh, one year for dark hours, Christmas, I made a, a monster making box, and it was just all kinds of different stuff for making monsters. Epoxy putty and, and that could, those kind of things. Mass Slasher says, is there any way to soften Loctite to form it after it's set? Is there any way to soften Loctite? No. No. Well, once the chemical reaction happens, it happened. Um, it's not like mud where you add water and it gets soft again. It is, um, it's like concrete where concrete's a powder, you add water, it turns into a rock. And then it's a rock. That that is more akin. That's a chemical reaction. Um, some things are not a chemical reaction. They just drop. Yeah. However, you can do a lot of forming of it before it's totally set. Yes. And you can sand it and slice it and 
Does it respond to heat gunning? Does what respond to heat gunning? Loctite when it's set. Uh, it softens a little, and then when it cools down, it'll stay in that position, like EVA foam, but it doesn't get moldable per se. Ezekiel said, if I was to make one of those foam tape busts, would it be wrong to tape over a bought bust? That's what I did, because you're only getting like the roughest of the form. So I, I'm not getting any details that they sculpted in that. I'm getting an SHO. It's a head-shaped object. Uh, I'm not, and I didn't tape it in such a way to really get detail either. So no, uh, I, I'm not worried about there. And I'm pretty persnickety when it comes to that. I don't, I don't have an issue with it. Hey, Stan. Yeah. Would you hand me that bag of LEDs that is right there? And his glasses. <laughs> yeah. Line cook Thor says, I'm trying to tell my family for Christmas to just buy me Halloween stuff, but they don't. Well, they would have to buy that during Halloween time. That's the kicker. Cat Swift says, they patterned it after my favorite gift for them to take kids' birthday parties. A pile of papers, crayons, scissors, tape, all stuff to create. So there's also something that we do that we have to be careful of. Um, if we are known to poo-poo stuff in the Halloween stores, then no one is going to buy you Halloween stuff because you are telling them that you're above it all. So you have to be really careful about that. Ezekiel says, thank you, I'm the same, especially with copying music. Yeah. Stone Farmer says, hey, I found the new channel. Hey, glad to have you. I'm messing with LEDs right now. Uh, these are discs that I have made to fit inside of these uh, eyes, eye pattern form things. Cat Swift says, if you hit the dollar store, you can make a big gift for not much money. Too many kid parties. <laughs> yup. Yeah, and that like collection basket, that's, that's actually pretty nice. Oh yeah. Oh no, there's no data. The stream will end shortly unless you restart your stream software. Well, we've ignored it before. Right. And here we are. And then like we're, we're back to poor. All right. Like oh, it's that. I was like, what is oh? No, I'm doing. I'm doing the burning. <laughs> the burning thing. Well, the, the heater kicks back on. I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Finn Godwolf says, hello, Alan, Stacy, and fellow creepers. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I think with the new mic, we'll probably have less confusion between Shannon and I. Because mm -hmm. you can hear us better. Stan, how goes your tooth paintery? Uh, painted. Okay. There is a click and strip right over there for wires. Would you give me uh, leads off of all these guys? Mass Grab slash. a 9 volt from in there too, please. Mass Slasher says, this may sound bad, but I actually don't have a clue what Mothman looks like. Well, uh, that is the advantage. He has big red eyes. That's, kind of that's like what him. everybody agreed on. So, he has big red eyes, and then you have, you're able to do some details. Apparently, um, according to his statue, a butt you could bring a pool key over. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I this up earlier to put it back. Aha! I'm like, it's sitting right over there. No, I, I put it where it belongs. And then stand left. Good night, Michelle Schulte. Right. Go ahead and uh, trim those up. Good night, Michelle Schulte. How short do you want them? Or this, this long enough? You just want the, enough of the ends. To yeah, yeah, just, just uh, fix the ends for me. Stone Farmer says, I haven't looked yet. What's the cost of your pay channel? I want to know how much R rated Allen costs. Well, all right, so. Um, <laughs> I, w I was actually thinking about something, and I'm wondering if I can do it. Okay. Can I upload the YouTube videos? I would have to use something like... I might even have to have a different channel on YouTube. That is, everything on there is unlisted. Yeah. And put it on Patreon for commercial-free videos. Probably. 
or would I have to upload it to Vimeo or something else? Yeah, probably Vimeo. Um, that so, as far as I'm aware, YouTube has started rolling out commercials on even people who aren't monetized. They are, which is they are garbage. But well, it's they own the service I and they can do whatever they I want. I know, but it's a bummer for them to make money off content they're not paying you for that you're providing. Um, Everybody wants to get paid. Well, that, that that's true, but. They, they have provided the platform for people to view it. That is true. So James Whittle says, good evening. What are you doing there behind that blue guy? Oh, well, yeah. see, right now, one of the things I don't like about this streaming setup is I can't see what's happening on camera. There's enough of a lag, especially today, that um, I can't see what's happening. So I'm leaving the camera kind of far away, so hopefully what I'm doing is kind of in frame. I have cut these discs out of EDA foam. And I poke some LEDs through them. And did you bring a nickel? Hey, thanks. Yep. And uh, these are going to go in the back of this so that we will have an eye that glows. Ooh. Anyway, to answer Stone Farmer's question, our, the base on Patreon it's is... Okay. Yeah, the cheapest one is three bucks a month. It's three bucks a month, five bucks a month, ten bucks a month, ten bucks a month, twenty bucks a month, twenty, fifty, yeah, hundred, two fifty. Yes. Okay. James, oh um, Body Geek says, "Hello, I'm back in Texas." Hey, glad to hear from you. Jackmania77 says, Hello everyone, I love the work you do. My monster question is, is the Krampus a supernatural demon spirit or a mortal creature? Are they good or bad? Okay, so Krampuses are definitely in the supernatural realm. Um, the, the most common herd lineage of them is they are the children of the goddess Hell, H-E-L. So that is a common thing said about them, which would make them... Not, they're not god. Like Hercules is not a god. But he is a demigod. Demigod. Yeah, they would be demigods, is what they would be. Eh, thanks. And now I'm just checking each of these. Are they good or bad? Um, they're 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 neither good nor bad. They're they're nature. Um, nature isn't evil, but it will destroy your house and kill your children. So. Uh, you have to be careful with words like good or bad. Uh, they are beings that are consider themselves to be above us. When ants are talking about us, do they ask if we're good or bad? No, they're like, did they notice me? I don't want them to notice me. Don't let them notice me. That's, that's how ants think about us, in my opinion. So, I don't think it's about being good or bad, per se. Stone Farmer says, I hate, hate the fact that a lot of commercials are not skippable. Uh, yes, uh, I also hate that. Um, in, in all honesty, I don't make a ton off of YouTube. If Patreon becomes a thing that I'm making money off of that, then I would not necessarily need um, the ad revenue from YouTube. But that is a little bit that helps my... Uh... Unfortunately... Doing this costs money. Um, you know, it, it, it costs money. So even uh, like even even tonight, it, it's there's there's money being spent. It's more wine ain't free. <laughs> James Little says sweet. Cat Swift says, will you tint the plastic globes at all? Yes. Mass Slasher says the clear half clear dome clear half dome that you're using for the eye. Did you cut that or buy that? Bought it. This is a four inch Christmas globe that Hobby Lobby tends to sell throughout the year. 1980 says, would painting the discs iridescent red be a possibility? Um, well, if I paint them, then they're not going to... I want to do whatever I do from the inside to maintain the shine on the outside. It would be very hard to get it this shiny and reflective with any paint on the outside. I think you meant the foam discs on the back. Uh, the disc will be painted, yes. Yeah, there's a whole treatment thing that has to happen on these guys. 
Cat Swift says, I think your opinion of Krampus being good or bad could depend on how you feel about children. <laughs> yeah, I think he's awesome. But he's also, would it? Because he's only punishing bad children. Yeah. So if you like good children, then I don't think you're anti Krampus. Stone Farmer says, I need to start my own haunt company so I can write off the cost of the subscription. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. I mean, I know some haunted houses are doing that. It, because if, if you if you feel you're paying for this content because it helps your business, and um, some haunts feel that way, then uh, of course, yeah, write that off. And if you're using it as a business write-off, take a look at some of our higher-end tiers because uh, there's some really quality haunted house stuff on those fifty hundred dollar levels. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, is, it, is it the 20 where you get a, a mask? Um, I think it is. You know, it, it's almost like lay away on an awesome mask. Right. $20 creature collector level, you um, get 10% off custom mask purchases and free foam filling. 20% off discounts of purchases of masks that are in our in stock stuff already. Um, once a year, you get a free piece of Patreon exclusive merch. And after a year at the creature collector level, we'll send you a free mask blank of your choice. Ah, free mask blank. It's $50 a month where you get a free. Gotcha. That's with our choice. Okay, so that is coming along, yet not done. Uh, what doing on these eyes? What doing? Stan, how are your teeth coming? So we got the uh, we'll flesh over the top of them. Come back in and put a, some color in the mouth because it had speckles okay. on it. And you so have to paint. renew your black. You got way too much white there. Okay. You need that black in between the teeth. Okay. So find a way to get black in. Actually, the free mask is on yeah. the high chair. This isn't one tooth, and this looks a bit like one tooth. Gotcha. You have to have those black spaces and the little lines in between your teeth. Maybe look for a really fine brush and put it in. Cut a few bristles off with a little bit of a thicker brush. Well, there's, there's some pretty small ones. There's some small ones in there that'll work. Stone Farmer says, well, pizza just arrived. Gotta eat with the white. Cool. Baba Daza says, okay, I would love to give you $20 a month. Well, you're in. Well, this is, I mean. We have a thing for that. I, this is, <laughs> this is not an infomercial. Okay, so I, I'm not comfortable. But wait, there's one. Just, more. just, you know what I mean? <laughs> pushing, pushing, pushing that. We're not if, pushing it, we're just talking about it. If people want to do it, then I think that they would. I've made it available, so there you go. The, the free completed mask, that's actually at the $100. Oh, okay. But if you think that's. A better reward, we can move it. We currently don't have anyone at the Yeah. Okay, that is curing up. I need to grab some other things. Do I have Death Con 5 Minute Epoxy over here? Baba Dada says, I know, you're not pushing. Uh, I, man, that's not what I want to do. I really don't. Larry Hughes says, well, no need to wait. The silicone was expired, so I cleaned it all off. Oh, it's expired. Yeah, be careful of that. Can you guys see Clawful over there in the corner? Oh, sorry. Someone tell me if you can see Clawful over there in the corner. He's the red mask to the side of Stan. You cannot see him. Let's bring it back to the right, unless you're... Is it because it won't zoom or am I standing right there? Do you want them to see Clawful? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm messing around over here, so I want them to be able to see. Tutwork Studio says hello, everyone. Yep, you're good. Now. Oh, 
Scotland. Work time is too long on that. Alan, do you hear the Telework Studios join us? No! We're not to the moon! <laughs> I got some DEFCON 5 minute epoxy. But now you are the one that's <laughs> Yeah, that's, you're right. How right you are. Al Mantra Art says, hey Alan, just emailed you a setting I found that might get rid of your lag. Do you want me to check that? You can't change it while we're live. Okie doke. Uh, all changes have to happen when you are not live. Rodney Pope says, what mask is that with the big ears? That will be an Anubis mask. Anubis. Put it in your mouth. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> this is Shannon's mold wine. I already drank all my. <laughs> I was thirsty. Aren't those great? Bust us. Like a really tiny razor sharp Q tip. Yes. These are Q tips, huh? Well, like I got the cone shaped ones for cleaning my airbrush with. Yeah. But they're not even as cool as these. Nice. I didn't even know they made these. They make them. Mask Slasher says for your Anubis mask, how do you make the headdress for him? I'm sure it has a name, but I don't know what the name is. Uh, I forgot the name too, so you're in good company. Um, we made a bunch of them, and I, right now, I forget, frankly. So, but I'm going to make another one here in a while, and I'll make sure you guys can see that. Baba Daza asks, what is mold wine? So, Stacy, explain mold wine. Mold wine, and especially the way Shannon makes it, is a wine that has been heated slowly with... Uh, oranges or some kind of citrus, uh, spices, usually like cinnamon and uh, star anise and, and cloves and uh, brown sugar and red wine. And it's magical. It is crazy good. warm and sweet and spicy and it feels like Christmas and it does not taste boozy, which makes it dangerous, <laughs> but it is delicious and wonderful. And Shannon spoils the heck out of us by making it for us. This is true. Because it's chilly out tonight. And yeah. <laughs> she actually posted the recipe for her particular variety of mold wine in the Silly Slide Creepers Facebook group. You can check yes. it out there. Oh no! Ken Zarif says everyone sounds like robots. That's cool. But just for him, Rodney Pope says sounds good here. Yeah, um, it's probably a bandwidth issue on your end at, at that point. Or he's ahead of you and you're all about to get robots. <laughs> Baba Daza says uh, for the headdress for uh, Anubis, uh, he says he has Stacy do it. <laughs> I am um, the headdress gal, but uh, I haven't made an Anubis it's, one. It's a different type of head. It's, it's more an arrangement. And I know that basically it's a tube that fans out and then the look comes when you fold it over itself. And then you have to make tails on it so this, it folds over back here and the tails go up front. Looks really nice. Bob and Oz says, how long do you simmer it? Because I have all the herbs and spices, almost all. Um, I think we did ours at the crock pot on high for two hours. Or you can do it on low for longer than that, but yeah. And how long can you stand? <laughs> well, I could only wait two hours. <laughs> yeah. I needed it sooner than that. We made a, might have made it, gotten gifted a big batch of materials by Shannon. And so we, uh, you know, had to make a big crock pot full of wine. <laughs> John C. says, Stacy, if you're in Egypt and your Greyhound is late, you have to take a new bus. <laughs> oh. Didn't even direct him at me anymore. Nope, nope. He knows Scott, I'm just going to give him a look. Scott Colehart says Shannon needs to create a Stilt Beast cookbook. I don't disagree. In her massive, in her massive spare time. What Shannon needs to do is 
give me a look at her uh, recipes and I'll compile some greatest tips for my favorite. Now, how much ink can I add to the yeah, DevCon like, <laughs> without uh, so it doesn't cure, you know? Thank you, Shannon, for jumping in with instructions. So this is marked, and they are even right now. I have to put a good amount in. All right, so the remote is safe. It's over here. <laughs> yeah, after that, unfortunately. Of business. We did, oh. get, we did get the cover off. <laughs> New remotes here. Hey, all right. We'll mess with that after we get off. <laughs> so do you measure that or we're just winging it? Well, this has little bars on the side to tell you how much you used. Oh. And once that air bubble gets all the way up to the top, I'll have a much better idea. I have no idea how I got my pockets. There's a lot out by the tree. Yeah, sorry. Maybe next time you're here in the daytime. Yeah, do some sweeping. Okay, so this has little marks on the side of the bottle, and that is what I am using to tell me how much you put in. Yeah. <laughs> Ezekiel says, what Shannon needs to do is maintain her care for Alan. No extras required. <laughs> that is her. She always says her job is to keep me alive. As oh, if I made poor so choices exciting. or something. Skin and Bone says, good evening, everyone. Sorry I'm late for class. Ha, ha, ha. It's all good, homie. Eighty-three folks on right now. Sixty-five likes. Y'all smash that thumbs up. This one is a good deal thicker. It's not coming out fast enough. And it's not resetting fast enough. Bobby Dawson says that's adorable. And totally makes sense. That channel needs to keep you alive. Oh, Larange. Did you come in unannounced? Yep. So rare. He becomes supervisor of Christmas tree. <laughs> mm -hmm. Stan, yeah. would you grab me a one inch chip brush, please, sir? Hey, buddy. Hey, Tommy. <laughs> Ezekiel says, do not drink that by accident, please. No, this is very red. It's not going to change the color of your pee. Don't drink a lot that's red. <laughs> I bet it would. I put a lot of ink in there. <laughs> Jonesy! Jonesy! I, like, I feel like a bat coming on. He's like, nah. Mom ain't in here. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> Ken's reaches, hey Jonesy! Papa does, this is my boy! <laughs> Sarah R. says, hi Jones. Hi everyone. Hello! Can you grab me another roll of tape? Doesn't matter what kind. Not electrical tape. <laughs> so it matters a little bit what kind. Moderately. One of those. Great. Perfect. It's just going to hold this. Okay. Oh. See how nice that works? Yeah. Cats like says, done this. poor choices. Let's see. You're sitting in a room full of so many chemicals. You test a heat gun on your hand. You just talked about a circuit box with stuff stacked in front of it. Dot, 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 yeah, dot, you missed our OSHA <laughs> talk on Monday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, we had a shop safety commission meeting. There was booze involved. <laughs> so much mold wine. Oh my god, that stuff stinks. Yeah, it's good for you. Whew. I know it's working. Hey, you. I think we tripped the breaker again. Yes. Oh, it, it, yeah, that break, it goes for a while, then it trips. Uh, this is artificial pile. flake snow. The pile of oily rag. Yeah. That's what I'm putting in here now. 
because this is going to be a good light diffuser. And I want this to make a nice coating on the inside of here. Baba Daza says if Alan wrote a memoir, it would be called Poor Choices. That's... I'm not saying you're wrong. Dan, would you move the camera over a little bit closer? I feel like Alan's memoir would be things that did not kill me. <laughs> Still alive. This was a triumph. Do as I say, not as success. I do. There's a little bit of a delay when I see, so I don't know what it yeah, sees right now. Yeah. Yeah. Give us a sec. Sorry. Wow, that stealth smell. Alright, drop it down just a hair. <laughs> Ezekiel says, part two, I'm not your smart friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dirty Santa says, 20 bucks. <laughs> Ron Shep says, subtitle, I'm your friend, not your smart friend. Dan McCorrison says, hello, Alan, Stacy, and all watching. Hello. hello. You don't like this, Dan? Good for you. Puts hair on the places you shouldn't have hair. <laughs> That's the positive. <laughs> if you said back on my head, I'd help you drink it. <laughs> Horror Beauty says, Mothman? What's going on, everyone? I'm making a Mothman. Yeah. Burple of Mothman. It's like a Um, uh, Big Mouth, which you would not like. I, I, it does have monsters in it, not the kind of monsters you like. But it does have, oh my god, now I'm going to blink on her name, um, an actress who I enjoy a lot as a hormone monster, and she says bubble bath in a fun way. Mass Slasher says, I watched away for a couple of minutes. What's that you're mixing? Okay, so this is, um, Paved with good intentions. Uh, this is ink, uh, alcohol-based ink, mixed with DevCon 5-Minute Epoxy. I'll tell you it's not behaving like 5-Minute Epoxy. And uh, it is also snowflake particles. So that this should diffuse light like a champion. Cat Swift says, I use the big empty tape rolls to hold my cups of brush cleaning water and other typical things. It also keeps me from drinking them by accident. Tape rolls are great for holding things that are around. Tape rolls are great for lots of stuff. Oh, no. Stan, are you on your phone? Yeah. Am I sucking on the thing? It killed the stream. <laughs> Briefly. We're back. Ron Shep says, Stacey, you're talking about Big Mouth? Yes. Mouth. Yes, I am. Bubble bath. <laughs> Maya Rudolph. That's who it is. Oh, yeah, her. Yeah, she's great. Ezekiel <laughs> says, disco eyes from inhaling. <laughs> Stan's looking like he's got some disco eyes from inhaling. That's just the way my eyes look, okay? <laughs> I said Stan. That's how I am all the time. It's last. So this is gelling, but it's taken a while. It's also very cold, yeah. so cold will normally slow down a, uh, a reaction like this. Ron Shep says, love that show. It's right on the borderline of being too awkward for me. Too awkward? I know. What does I, that mean? I, like, awkward comedy where like everyone is uncomfortable. I struggle with like the office. I can't watch the office. It's too awkward for me. Um, and uh, this is right on the edge of being too awkward for me to be able to watch it comfortably. I, it is definitely too awkward to watch with my kids in the room. I mean, I've seen it whiz by on yeah. Netflix where yeah. it's like, hey, watch this. It's I've cute. Never... It, it's not Alan's cup of tea for sure. 
from Ryan says Maya Rudolph. Yeah, I, I enjoy her. Baba Daza says, sorry, what show? It's an animated show on Netflix called Big Mouth. It's about middle schoolers going through puberty. I didn't want to live it. Why would I want to watch it? <laughs> it's almost as awkward as living it was. So what I'm trying to do is now I'm thinning this out so I have a real thin layer of this all around the outside and one had more than the other so I took some out of that one. So using three LEDs per eye, will you have to have two 9 volts or will that all run off of one 9 volts? Uh, I'm just running the bare wires and they're going to put a power supply on it. Oh, okay. Line Cook Thor says, could not get into Big Mouth. Yeah, it, it picks up in the second season for sure. It, it came with strong recommendations, so I was like, this is so awkward, but I'm going to push through it. <laughs> you know, you invest time. You know? Yeah, yeah. I got to the fourth season before it got so awkward that I couldn't keep watching I it. Am, I am at peace with the word no. Yeah. And if something has, if it isn't, earning its time with me that I can't spend it on it, you yeah. know? I felt like, that no. way about Hannibal. Like, I watched the first two seasons and loved it. Yeah. Season three was so hard to watch yeah. that about halfway through, it's just like... You know, it's it's not like your mom is feeding you dinner and she's like, you have to eat everything on your plate. <laughs> no, that's not how entertainment works. Yeah. Uh, say no. Stop. Put on something you like. Well, I, I've been trying to expand my boundaries of, of the stuff that I, that I consume media-wise because I fall into ruts and I just keep watching the same stuff over and over because it's comfortable and I know how it ends and it doesn't make me anxious. Okay. And, <laughs> but then this was one of the ones that, that came with recommendations from people whose taste I, I trust. But they were like, yeah, just get, give it a season or two. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, I don't really get anxious a lot. Now, I stopped watching Walking Dead. It didn't make me ang anxious. It wasn't fun. Yeah. Like, I need that. If I'm going to give you an hour, I need to have fun in that hour, you know. Mass give me Slash. some kind of payoff. Mass Slasher says, should be starting my next sculpt soon. Columbus Clay said they'll have wet clay back in stock tomorrow. Hooray. Awesome. That's cool. See, That's it used to be I was in Columbus, like, uh, once a year, back when MHC was there. But now, it are in Chicago. Chicago. Cat Swift says, those are some of the grotiest eyes ever. Must use that on something. That, well, okay, you're looking at them from the back side. Wait till you see them from the other side. Which I'm hoping I can just wire up this mm -hmm. LED here. Baba Daza says, I totally agree. Uh, and the last episode of The Walking Dead, where I could tell that they weren't out for me to have fun, yeah. was the one where Daryl was in prison and they played the same song the whole episode. And I'm like, okay, you have just... If you, were, if you were a friend, I'd kick you out of my house. <laughs> so, yeah, I, said, I still got some hot spot, but I like what that is doing on the inside of there. Ezekiel and, says, my life has changed dramatically since I turned the TV off. Listen to a legend and I'm making stuff instead. Like, see that? That's what I really want. All that around there and this is just a little too hot right here but that is these guys I gotta lightly sand the end of them to flatten that off or I can bury them in a little bit of a hot glue to distribute that clear hot glue good choice black hot glue, black hot glue yeah. would really bury it <laughs> too, too much <laughs> it's, it's too much Yeah, these should have kind of a jewel faceted type eye look. Thingy. Are you done with the solder iron? Yes. I like something like Big Mouth that I can put on in the background and work while while it's on. And it like it gives me something to do when it gets so awkward I can't even look at the TV. <laughs> what do you want to set? Like 250, 290? Uh, pretty thick, so go ahead and leave it at uh, the lowest. 
the, the writing on it is, is pretty clever. And as, as a former teenage girl myself. Uh, <laughs> is, is that the one where, like, depression is blue and... Yeah. It's or, like no, the kid looks like Steve Buscemi. Cat. Looks like a young Steve Buscemi. Yeah. Um, the hormone monsters are monsters, and depression is a, is a big purple cat. Let's see. Yes, we can do that. What can we do? I'm going to tilt this up a little bit. This will be a little bit better if we have much again. Boy, you thought the heat gun was hot. <laughs> this guy heats up good. Yep. Uh, yeah, the... Uh, grab it. Yeah. yeah. Illustration of the hormone monster on the teenage girl. Was, like... She just verbally destroys her mother in a fight, like pulling the worst meanest punches. The hormone monster slams the door after the mother runs out and says, That was beautiful! No notes! <laughs> I was like, Yep, that, that is 100% what that's like. Good job. <laughs> Rylan Chouse is what you're doing now. Well, I am hoping against hope that my five minute epoxy will set up. Fingers crossed. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Max Slasher says, by the way, my girlfriend has been saying hooray a lot lately. And I hooray! asked her why, and she said, I blame Alan. I was like, you don't watch him. She said, I can hear him when you watch it. <laughs> Rob O'Brien says, he's thinking of Pixar's Inside Out. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fair. But for the record, uh, this, this ink and the 5-Minute Epoxy makes a great blood, because that'll stay shiny forever. I also wanted to cure. Ross Richard says, can you put them in the animal cage oven? Uh, Which phrased like I that think sounds it would, terrible. It would melt the eyes. Yeah. I think it would melt the eyes a little too much. <laughs> this is our animal cage oven. <laughs> no. no not, it's not made what you from think. an animal cage. It's not what you think. It's not for. Oh, God. <laughs> not what you think. Baba Daz is totally unrelated. <laughs> When in doubt, you use it all. Double down. Just use all of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, double down. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> Papa Dallas is totally unrelated. Oh my God, Stacey, I have a recommendation if you have Hulu. It's an FX show on Hulu. I do have Hulu. Lay it on me. Ross Richard says, remember, I'm your friend, not smart-worded friend. Yeah, <laughs> words are hard. Words is hard, man. How do you even? Suddenly unable to can. <laughs> Rodney Pope says, see y'all next time. I'm going to finish Three from Hell. So far, I'm not amused. Um, yeah, yeah. Everything I heard about that was that it was pretty terrible. It's not good. Horror Beauty says, really does look like amazing blood. I'll have to replay for ink color. This is chili pepper. Uh, chili pepper red. Dan McCorrison says, I have a new respect for you guys making videos. I found out it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. I was nervous for the short one I did. Uh, yeah, nerves aren't a problem for me. Um, but everything takes like three times longer if you're filming it. That's true. So now I should be able to mix this with knowledge that this will cure. Because this is just five minute epoxy. I can back this with it. Baba Daza says it's called What We Do in the Shadows. Two seasons about vampires in the modern day. Oh, yeah. It's hilarious. I love that show. <laughs> Nadia, amazing. Like, she, she for me, was definitely the element that was missing from the movie. And if you haven't seen the movie, What We Do in the Shadows, uh, it's worth it. <laughs> Thank you, Scott Colhart, for sharing the Silty Slide Creepers Facebook group. Thanks, Scott! Yeah, what we do in the chat is great. New Zealand horror <laughs> stuff is, is brilliant. She said, so amazing. Yeah, I did. Yeah, the, the movie is a choice. And I feel like the Nadia character was definitely what was missing from the from the movie. 
<laughs> Cats with Guillermo! Yes. I loved his uh, little cameos on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, I see. I haven't... He, he did a cameo of, like, two different cameos. I mean, he plays the same character yeah. on it, but the... Uh, It's actually really good. Did you did you incorporate a lot of air into it, and that's why it's cloudy? I I don't know. We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> Take it out. Papa Don says Nadia totally makes it awesome. I hope they didn't cancel it. Yeah. How many seasons is it on? Two. Uh, that cancel. <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> well, it's on, doing anything past two seasons. It's on FX. Oh okay. And Hulu. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stan. So sorry. <laughs> Okay. Horror Beauty says, so are you doing different colors of red for the eyes? No. Not, I, not my actually. goal is all red. My goal is red. But what? this is, look at what's happening. I'm just, uh, this is, this is, we're going, I'm committing. Mike Trzynowski says, it's an awesome group. No negative. So what I'm doing is now I'm incorporating this stuff in here. And this stuff is going to really disperse the light. And I should get a little thicker faster. But I have red goo and I have red LEDs. Ron Shep says there will be a third season. Yay! Kelly O'Brien says, so no super chat to make a donation? Um, well, there's a PayPal link. If someone wants to make a donation, there is a PayPal link. Or you could just join Patreon and uh, do that. You can cut that off at any time, I'm sure. And then uh, you'll get some other goodies, too. Kelly O'Brien says Skin and Bones said that. But it's kind of just Kelly O'Brien on both of them. <laughs> Rylan Chow says, is the blood and the plastic ornaments for Mothman? Yes, this is going to be his eyes. This has the possibility to be his eyes. It's a distinct If I have not mucked up and destroyed this option, we'll see. Thank you, Scott Kolar, for sharing our PayPal link and our Patreon link. Yeah, those are, if you want to give us money, those are ways to give us money that YouTube does not take uh, 30%. YouTube does work hard for its money. I don't have any issues with YouTube, but if you would like to give me, let's say $10, because that's easy math, um, I would rather have $10 than $7. Ron Shep says, I read an article that they already renewed. Sweet. Mass Slasher says, I seen today the director making the upcoming Gremlins movie said he's using little to no CGI and is sticking to practical effects, which sounds cool. That does sound cool. Alright. Rylan Chow says, looks chunky. It is chunky. Ezekiel says, zombie oatmeal. <laughs> Cat Swift says, since they have won awards and have the hottest director in the industry right now, yes, it will be around a bit. What TV? What? what? Taika what TV? That's the guy. That dude's awesome. He's pretty fabulous. I like watching, I mean, his interviews are great. Oh, yeah, he's hilarious. His interviews are great? Mm-hmm. I mean, just like watching his interviews, it's, he's hilarious. Yeah, it does look pretty gorific. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about your community standards there, YouTube. No, you smell so much nicer. <laughs> Somebody get a dent bone. Somebody got something. You called it earlier, she drank. The Dr. Pepper did so she could eat the plastic. And yeah, of course. No sugar right now. <laughs> You're missing Stan petting the dogs behind me. Or behind the camera, I should say. Stan, okay, so this is really heating up. Yeah. You're going to melt your It's your kicking. Eyes. It's kicking. Well, I put a lot in here, and now it may melt my eyes. It may warm oh, no. Now putting this extra flake in here is going to disperse it a little bit and space it out, and that will slow down the chemical reaction. Rylan Chow says, what is the plastic snow-looking thing for? It, it's, uh, it deflects light. It, it, yeah, it's a light deflector. 
Henry. Horror Beauty says, is the goal to fill the whole eye with this red goo? That was not my original goal. <laughs> I wanted just a nice thin layer, but... Uh, what I have it was. <laughs> the, my life works differently than I imagine on occasion. Papa Dallas says, we hear. So here we are doing this. They can hear them getting petted. Yeah. That is a great microphone. <laughs> that is a great microphone. Uh, it really is a good microphone. Do you think if we floated them in water, it would uh, keep the plastic cool enough? To not? Um, I think it's going to be all right. Cat Switch says, my kids did their three-week honeymoon in New Zealand party for Lord of the Rings for Taika Waititi. Uh, my son is, son-in-law is in the industry, so they went places regular folks can't go. That's awesome. Cool. Dan McCorson says, what's the temp in Texas? 30 degrees here. Uh, it might be 30 degrees. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I bet it's it, it's probably right around 30. That's probably a, a fair guess. Now I'm controlling the thickness by putting the plastic on the other side so that I'm not too thick for the LEDs to shine through. And the plastic should peel off. Adam Durbin says hello from Yorktown, Virginia. Hello. Okay. This one I may have gotten to too late. Oh no. Because when it starts to kick, it it starts to kick. Yeah. And I don't know if I can thin this out. Oh, I got some some pretty sparkles from the other side. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't look nearly as gross from this end. <laughs> that is also the plan. But I want to keep that shine that the eye has. Yes. You know? If you look at that. Boy, it's burning my hand. Oh, Good no. thing I don't have a lot of feeling. I were a mere mortal. <laughs> That'd be that would hurt. John C. says it's 29 degrees in your town right now. Ooh, yeah, I believe you. Turn the lights off so you can see it. Yeah, would you turn the lights off for me? Got it. Who wrote these dollars? I could also dremel this thinner from the back. What a pain. Sounds like a lot of work. Well, what I could do, though, is I could use the round stone bit. Okay, you can tell oh, that's that's actually black on the plastic is what that is, uh, because there's there's a pattern on the plastic. So, yeah, that's a red eye. Are you red eye? Say when. 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 Would you go back to the light switch? I can I can peel the plastic off now. Stan, Stan is going back to the light switch. <laughs> I want to see. She says no. See, like, I did once. Right? Yeah. Did the other one? Yeah, see, I have that ring of thickness. I got to dremel that a little bit. Boo. But I like what's happening there. That's a nice, large red eye. You turn the lights on. Tutwork Studios says eight degrees here in Maine, nor'easter tomorrow. Holy moly. Mash sla mast slasher says snowed here today, only got around an inch or so, so not bad. Uh, Dan McCorson said a day we had negative a day ago we had negative two. I'm not oh. looking forward to twenty below. Stop talking. Negatives. <laughs> Ezekiel says Fahrenheit. <laughs> yes. Horror Beauty says 27 degrees here. Realms, what will be your nightmare? Says hi. Hey, Realms. Stan. Would you get the light switch? <laughs> this one is certainly closer to what I wanted. Uh, I like that the light is diffused. Um, yeah. I think new five minute epoxy. Would have been better. Yeah. Okay. We can make that work. It's good. It's good. 
I must uh, get this off my hands. Mass Slasher says, how did you get that tape to hold the phone? What was the question? How did you get that tape to hold the phone? The form, he meant. Stan, talk to these people while I wash my hands. <laughs> these here are dogs. Show them them dogs. Look at these here dogs. Hi, Jamie. Hi, good boy. Pet them that dog butt. This might be the hardest part of the job is having to pet these dogs sometimes for minutes at a time. Horror Beauty says most of our snow melted today. Send some of that this way, please. Dan McCorson says we only have six inches of snow on the ground. Tutwork Studios says skiing on Friday. Ugh. Ron Shep says 28 degrees in NYC and about five to seven inches of snow with more to come tonight. I miss snowboarding. I haven't been in like 10 years because I'm not here. I have never been. Snowboarding is great. I had my own board, now I'm old. So I, <laughs> I have an insurance mine now. Yeah. I've never been snow skiing. I me, want to go. Me neither. I did put on a friend's skis and I skied around his backyard. I'm not saying that counts. Right. Poor Beauty says, pet one and they'll all come for pets. Oh, you don't know. And they'll shoulder block each other out of the way. Oh, they, yeah. will, they will push you down like. <laughs> Baba Daz says, yeah, Stan, you look super unhappy about it. This is horrible. He hates it forever. Listen, the job is rough, guys. It's not all fun making stuff. And <laughs> no, it is all fun making. Sometimes you got to scritch dogs. Dan McCorris says, lots of new lights fishing. Good, clear ice. Cat Swift says, the dogs are there without Shannon. Yeah, it, it happens sometimes. Oh, they, the dog, yeah, they, they must have just gotten fed. Yeah, they're all roaming the, roaming the, the, the land. Horror Beauty says, I want to use my new snowshoes. Yes. No, no, see, that's too much snow. Yeah, where you have to snowshoe? Where you have to have snowshoes not to die. I mean, I feel like that's that's just too much. I don't know that I've ever actually been in that much snow. We had enough snow while we vacationed in Colorado with family to be able to, like, sled when I was mm -hmm. a teenager. But beyond that. <laughs> so I remember when Boris was little and he would nibble. And now he literally grabs your whole arm mm -hmm. and tries to walk away with it. Yeah. As when, is when these way. guys were like the size of their heads. They were tiny little wee, wee little sausages. Dogs. Wee little dogs, right? They yeah. were but small dogs and now they are large. What? What? He's either gonna like smile or kill me with that. <laughs> there could be murder. Murder. Oh, see, what, what's your problem, dude? What's your, right. <laughs> he He's like, got hey, you in the face. Like, Pay attention to me, Jack. Hey, hey, buddy. This hour of dog petting is brought to you by Stilpies. That's right. Stilpies Studios Boof Loofs. Boof For all of your floof petting needs. What? Woof. What? I know. What? It's terrible. You make it every day. It's tragic, these dogs. You're Terribly tragic. How's that for record turnaround? Heck yeah. Oh, look at that. You poured that out when you got <laughs> it. Yeah, that was <laughs> three hours, 42 minutes ago. Mike Trzanowski says, can you fog it somehow and then red metallic paint? What's the question? Uh, can you fog it somehow and then red metallic paint? Probably for the eyes. Uh... I do not want to paint the outside of the clear discs. I am now committed to this path of action. Tutwork Studio says, Alan, we also ski with ropes behind snowmobiles. Okay. Which is snow kind surfing. of awesome. Adam Durbin says, y'all are lucky getting snow. Here in Virginia, it's just heavy rain. I want to build a snowman. <laughs> build a rain man. Lankert Thor says, welcome to Michigan in the winter. Right. Burr face. Burr face. Getting them dog scratches. So that is freaking me out. What? The computer is so far behind. I know, I know. I mean, that was like a minute and a half ago, two minutes ago. I can try it. Like, it, it, you can bump it to the live, but it, it's still, it's still lagging. Freaking me out. Set the camera up and show, uh, go ahead and brown wax those oh. words. Dan oh. McCorson, so Stacey, your feathers are on the way. Hey, thank you. I'm feathers. excited. Ezekiel says, 90 degrees here, only ice I got was a drink. <laughs> I'll trade you. I hate the water. Uh, but. Yeah, because I don't even know what. Rob O'Brien says, my AC just kicked on. Why? Why? <laughs> okay. So, here's our werewolf key. And, uh, 
Again, we got a little tiny bit of a lag, so I don't know what you see. Stick your hand in front of the camera and drag it back so you can get that focus. Mm. Or not. Should be there. In the middle, or footwork. Everyone's sitting there and like, yep. really? All right. Okay. So, painting the teeth white, and then I mixed a little bit of this uh, peachy, fleshy, goblin flesh tone to it, and uh, mix it with a little white. We're back over the top of it. And now, what we have here is, which one do we need? Red, brown. Scott Kohler asked what camera we are using. This one. <laughs> the webcam. It's a Logitech. Good lord, man. I don't know. The writing's really small. HD. That's, that's what it says. Mike Trizanowski says 12 to 18 inches tonight. Oh, no. <laughs> that's more I hope so. <laughs> if he's got stuff due tomorrow. <laughs> yep. Yep. Missy Gisersi says, during the North Pole tour, a kid asked me if I could make it snow since he's never seen snow. So I told him I'd see what I could do if it snowed in Arkansas the following night. This is the uh, Sculpt Nouveau metal wax. It says metal, but you know what? It goes on like everything. So it's cool. The, um, what like we're going to do is sauce. wax the teeth. Go ahead and stand them up. Put that stuff on everything. Stand him up, Stan. Um, Probably getting ASMR if me pour soda right now. <laughs> okay. So, here we are. Do you put them on with the brush? Yep. You know I use two brushes, the little blue one and the big one inch chip brush. That's it. And those sweet q tip things that you like so much. That's awesome. Look at this. I'm gonna show her. I have to show her. These wee little q tips. That's ridiculous. Dan of course it says it. I wish Diamond Willow was cheaper to ship. If it was, I'd send you some for walking sticks. It's pretty mythical wood. It is. Cat so says, I downhill speed once. Not sure what I hit. Medical bills to prove it was something big and immobile. Now I sit by the fire and wave at them. Now I'm something big and immobile. <laughs> well, see, that's what I mean. Like, I'm insurance-minded now. Before it was, you know, how, how much wax can I put on the snowboard to go fast down the mountain? <laughs> now it's, well, I'll go down this hill because it's closer to where, like, the medics are in case something goes wrong. So what we're doing, I'm just, just, you know, happy... Or Beauty says, yeah, that did not sound good. <laughs> What's that? The uh, drink pouring portion. It did or it didn't? Because I thought it, he was right. It was kind of ASMR. <laughs> not for Horvini. Okay, well, I did. Mike Churz and Elsie says, yeah, I forgot to finish that. <laughs> These are important details that Alan needed clarification on. Whatever you're into, man. Based on the look that he gave me when he walked out and I said 12 to 18 inches. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, we're not terribly judgy. I can't count how many times I've walked from that door into something being said that could have been so many directions. Context is like, so, so important. important. <laughs> it could have been so many ways, some of these conversations. Okay? Let's yeah. kick this back. Is it way too close? No, no, you're okay. I'm just gonna <laughs> kick it back up a bit. So yeah, we're just we're putting some of this on, and you know, here this is uh, metal wax, and putting it up near the top, and uh, just sort of give a little something extra to the teeth so they're not just sticking out plain white. Earlier we joked because I just put straight white paint on it and looked like he flossed a lot. <laughs> so we're, we're knocking that down because, you know, maybe he doesn't go over to the... Rob O'Brien says now we just have Alan breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gaz, a breather. Gaz Smith says, oh Stan, you became an adult. <laughs> God, you know what's sad? It really is. The uh, My wife and I were talking about that one day. I used to live. No, we were talking about spontaneity. And... You know, you just get in the car and say, hey, we're going to take a weekend trip. And we'll find a hotel along the way, maybe, and eat dinner along the way. Well, it'll be fun. Well, whenever we get there, we get there. No. Now it's, <laughs> now it's like, well, what kind of hotel? Is it a nice hotel? Do they? So, for the record, I am still perfectly fine with that. My wife, not so much. But she's learning. 
she is learning to let go a little bit. Of yeah, that's her. a thing you have to do. That that is also Tony's idea of a grand time. Is just let's go. just pick a direction. Let's figure it we out. We tried. Like once one year for his birthday, mm -hmm. um, I was like, okay, pick a direction, and I had stuff laid out for every cardinal direction. That you, could pick. you laid stuff out. That no, was no, the no, problem. No. Like, like I had a, a, a relative gold. I made no arrangements, no anything. Just if if he picks east, we'll go do this. And if he picks west, we'll go do this. And if he picks north, we'll go do this. And south, we'll go do this. But we'll find whatever on the way. And we made this. We picked east. And we made it as far as almost um, the state line. And he got terrible food poisoning. He had to come <laughs> That was part of the adventure. Yeah, it was very adventurous. You get, you get sick in Guam, you get the adventure of a Guam hospital. <laughs> That's the adventure that you get, guys. See, Janice said to me that one of the things she loves the most is that I planned the whole trip. And I'm like, That's a trick. Yeah. It's, That's it's totally a trick. a trick. It's a trick. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't want to plan the trip. I mean, she just doesn't want to plan it, but I mean, that doesn't mean she doesn't want to have to say where we go and what we do. Yeah. Chad Smith says, I don't want to go flying downhill with just a piece of plastic protecting my brain. Yeah. Matt Slasher says, is the teeth going to get a yellowish brown in the gum line? Uh, we'll probably do a little more wax up there. Let that gunky wax stay up there a little bit. And see, I've made a head-shaped object. And this head-shaped object has cost me about $11. I was not real picky on, uh, de you could get much better detail than this, but I didn't really need it. Ezekiel says, I have no issues with having non-plans. I thought it was funny. Shannon was concerned. I showed up to St. Louis with no luggage from Australia. I, I was perfectly fine with it because it's not like they don't sell everything you need. That's what says, my kids hate spontaneity. They do plans and spreadsheets. So boring. Oh. I wonder sometimes if I really burst them. <laughs> Gross. I, I come from planner people and I married into non planner family. And so I'm adjusting, but it's, you know, at this point it's been 12 years. So I'm getting better. You ain't I'm, getting got better. It by now. I'm getting better. It, well, and you have to figure out that just things are just going to work out and you have to be okay with that. Yeah. Um, well, and Tony does have the devil's own luck. Most of the time things work out in his favor. That, that's me. Yeah. Where, <laughs> you know, even like when building stuff, you know, it's like it's going to work. So we, we just make it work. Um, yeah. Ron Shep says we used to hop in the car at 12, 1 in the morning and head to Philly for cheese steak. Yeah. I live in Baltimore. We used to do that. Listen, if we didn't have plans tomorrow, I'll tell you we'd love nothing more than to come home at 11 o'clock at night and be like, get in the car, we're going. I, I plan to drive to Oklahoma City tomorrow. Right? So now I'm spending the day in Oklahoma City. That's not a bad drive, though. About four hours. Yeah. yeah, if Rue were up here, I'd have him go with me, but... <laughs> I am going thrifting tomorrow. Project needs thrift stuff. Ezekiel says, my kids say we're going, we're going, Dad, I'm like this way, and point forward. Eyes roll. <laughs> no, Dad said, where we're going, Dad, I'm like this way, and point forward. Chad Smith says, what is this word you speak of, spontaneity? <laughs> I've been married 20 years. I'm not familiar. I don't know. I, I think it's, you You discover a lot, you know. It's like adventure lunch. I've never eaten there before. Let's do it. But I, I drive home a different way all the time just because I've never been that way before. Let's go check it out. Kim B. Adrat Kennedy says, I live in McAllister, Oklahoma. I'll wave at you as you drive by to OKC. Hooray. Casper says, my best lesson ever. I took my grandmother home to Scotland and got us lost. I was upset and she said, she just said, we wanted to be in Scotland. We're in Scotland. The rest is details. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All we got to do is make it back and fly over. Uh, and running late and getting lost. Struggle. Struggle. I don't like either of those. I don't like running late. I hate running late. Um, yeah, I hate running late. Howard Studios says something tells me Rue is okay with no plan. I don't know. Believe it or not, Rue's uh, actually kind of plan. Yeah. yeah. Also, I'm I'm the kind of person 
where even if I haven't said anything, everyone assumes I have a plan, <laughs> whether I do or not. They have no idea how much I'm actually just winging it. Well, I, th I think the, the keynote there is that a lot of times the difference between you with a plan and you with no plan is it's pretty, it's a very narrow window. Black or thin. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the line between those two is thin and nebulous. <laughs> Okay, great. I don't have a head shaped object. And the head is fairly hollow. That's good, so I gotta run wires for lights. Dan, of course, says my wife would be late to her own funeral. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, we show up on unless, time. Unless you hire the wrong funeral home. <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. We show up on time and my in-laws are like, we didn't expect you for another half an hour. I'm like, well, you, you told us noon. And they're like, yeah, we you know. You are very punctual. That's true. You are unfortunately punctual. Unfortunately. Tragically punctual. Jana doesn't play. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, you're, if you're not there 15 minutes earlier, you're late. late. Yeah. At least. <laughs> I've sat outside before in front of the house because that's how early we got there. Yeah. So we made this head-shaped object. This is, this is all that it has to be. Um... We need some eyes. This will go on this, and he is supposed to look to the left a bit. So where I'm going to redo his head so he's looking to the left. Um, yeah, I can do that in five minutes. Give me my big knife. Great big Ooh. knife. Yeah. Oh, the other yeah. one. The other big The bigger one. <laughs> the machete. Mass Slasher says, traveling by car is always fun for us because my girlfriend's afraid to drive on the highway. I'm very direct. It's usually an experience. Or because I've just gotten done watching the tree costume. Awesome idea. Hey, thanks. I've been doing that for 20-some years. I love those things. John C. says, we took four months to drive and backpack cross-country uh, from Eastern Shore to Washington State with no actual plans. Oh, man. I love that it. That would be great. Can't even imagine. But it would be great. Cat Swift said she was my best friend. We traveled all all over together, and now I'm writing about her. Super kick ass all the way to 99. That's cool. Dude. You like that, huh? I like this. Bone saw. <laughs> bone saw. Sometimes you need a bone saw, guys. I don't know. Chad Smith says, I preach to my kids early is on time, on time is late, late is unacceptable. Mom, is that you? <laughs> Ezekiel says, 51, I still have no idea where I'm going next. I'm with you. Guys. Rodney Pope, what movie? He says, I finished it and that's a couple of hours I'll never get back. One of the worst movies I've ever seen. I tried to tell no, you. No, it wasn't the Bigfoot movie I mentioned, was it? I said don't even look for it. Okay. I want his head to be out here and looking to the right. This has to calm down a little bit. Dan McCorson says, everyone that knows us just tells us to show up an hour earlier than the festivities start. Nice. Rodney Pope says, no, three from hell. Okay, sure. Yeah, that one, I don't know, man. Looking a little to the left is what he said. Oh, and I needed it down here, but I don't want him set up like a human. Two more of those uh, bamboo skewers, please. Skewers. Yeah. Mass Slasher says, have you gotten a chance to look at this room yet? If so, please don't judge too much. You may think it sucks. Uh, I don't think that I'm going to think it sucks. Uh, and no, I have not yet. Um, this has been... So, the way that my Tuesday works, Tuesday is entirely dedicated to YouTube Wednesday. It literally takes all of my day, where I am gathering materials, shooting the video, and then I'm editing. Um, if I have an order to ship or something like that, 
then uh, I have to get that done too, but that's all done before. That is actually going to be really nice. That's a good dynamic movement. This now is a separate piece. I like that. I think I have enough to make this happen. And we're in the final minute. Candy pull. Well, well I, can, I can cover this with Whitey McWhite stuff, that's for sure. <laughs> minute, no problem. <laughs> Oh, so funny about spray foam, Stacy. So much. Oh man, it's crazy to see that off gas. I know. I can, I can see the fumes yeah. blasting off of it. I guess we don't notice temperature that much when it's cold or it's warm. Yeah. We just breathe it in. Don't even see it. It's fine. It's great. <laughs> Listen, this work is going to be the death of me, but I will have had a great time doing it. <laughs> Cat Swift says, Mass Slasher, you built it. It will not suck. It might get better the more you make, but you made it. That's so much more than so many people could ever say. That's true. Yeah. Well, listen, sucking at something is the first step to being kind of good at something. <laughs> Did you get your stand? No, we're good. <laughs> I'll call Chad Smith says, yep, my mind went there too. I'm a 13 year old boy. Sames! <laughs> Stacy, also a 13 year old boy. It's true. <laughs> my tagline all of the time is, yeah, because I'm 12. Like, that's. <laughs> that looks crazy. Crazy cool, right? Carl Cleaver would say all the time to uh, the young girls in mind, oh, no. how old are you? They say 12, 13, 14, whatever. Like, we have a lot in common. On the internet, I'm a 12 year old girl. <laughs> Ezekiel says, stand back, Stan. Too late. Yeah. <laughs> like her doors and white stuff. Yeah. Ezekiel says, 51, 13, same thing. <laughs> Whatever it takes. 15. 28, 29. Yeah. Did this head sag? Uh, I believe it did. Okay. No, it didn't. It just looks like it? Yeah. Uh, I guess because that center part fell. This will take over, and this will, the skin will go to this, it will not expand past it, and it will help form that neck. Mass Slasher says, no worries, I was just curious. I'm a little nervous sending my unexperienced work to a maker that is experienced. That's all. Dude, you're fine. I can tell by looking at it, it's good stuff. I think you overthought it. <laughs> I'm not going to say you over-engineered it. I think you overthought it because you thought about it too long instead of just doing it, in my opinion. But there are more ways to do things than just mine. So keep that in mind, too. Just because I do it differently doesn't mean that someone else does it wrong. <laughs> Bravo Brian says, shh, he thinks it's night. <laughs> <laughs> so when you, when you have to catch an emu... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you have to do because they will run around like they're terrorists, all right? They'll kick you in the junk in the face and they will they'll peck at you. But if you get a sock over the head, they're like, oh, well, <laughs> I'm just going to wait. <laughs> and if you push them, they'll walk in that direction. Yep. They are different animals when they can't see. Missy Jaserski says, when you make something that doesn't work out, don't think of it as a failure, but as a learning experience of how not to do it. Uh, I might have had a learning experience with these eyes. <laughs> Dan McCorson says, Vortex Tunnel build starts tomorrow. I think I can just grinder them, though, Yarr. from the inside. And I'll do dimples with the round oh, stone. Yeah, oh, yeah, all right. Give you some and then, patterning. And then I'll get a pattern inside aye, of that. Aye. But that is not a terrible looking eye from the outside. Yeah, that's hard now. <laughs> I made a thin plastic eye into a thick plastic eye. To a softball. Good job. 
I'm not seeing as much light through them as I would like. But there's some. So there's hope. Tina Kusiak says, okay, I was out of the room. My hubby told me you pulled the old man mask. That's going to be a Scrooge for our Christmas front yard display. Thanks again. I did pull it. Uh, you'll ship tomorrow. Yeah, because both of yours are set. And I had never seen a Jack Frost without ears. Oh, I, I didn't see how it came out. So we did that the other day, too. Hey, all right. An earless Jack Frost. Nice. I'm Mr. Yeah. Love Christmas. I'm Mr. Snow. <laughs> Or yeah. Rudy says, no mistakes, only happy accidents. You know what? I don't even... I don't know if they're accidents. It was meant to be that way, so you can learn a thing. Dan Corson says, take care all, and call it a night. Uh, we're calling it a night, too, because it is 10 o'clock. Yep. So, as they have become accustomed, that's when I kick them out. <laughs> and sneakily eat all the leftover food. <laughs> we were like the, the five minutes before we leave all clustered around the food. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I, I really can't even see this to know what's happening. All right. Stacy, say goodnight. Good night. I think she's in frame. Probably. I, I'm dead on with the Stan. Thing, so. Say goodnight. Good night, everybody. I say goodnight. I'm gonna have to end this stream twice. There's Manually. two buttons for it. <laughs> so um, thank you guys. You're awesome. We uh, are working on some fun stuff right now. Finish that in the next day or two. Good night. Go make stuff. Go make stuff.